Barbara in the fucking thing? <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. Barbara, is that your new home? I hope she, she doesn't. Piss, I hope she doesn't think there. that's like a like a litter box. Her name, like in my phone right now, if you go to my recent calls, there is a lot of nine one one, and it's all little Chloe. <laughs> so what happens when you actually call nine one one? I just you have to dial it. I searched her name. No, yeah, you have to like dial nine one one. For hers, I have to like search her name. Uh, okay, so I started rolling, so we're just gonna kind of, kind of flow into it. I think, mm -hmm. um, okay. even though me saying well, that kind of just throws the whole thing. Oh yeah, I guess, I guess we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll do an easy start. Um, start and uh, for, for what will be perhaps the final time, this is uh, sipping on some soda with Aaron Rhodes and Kirby Stickler. And you know we're here to talk, talk fucking, fucking soda, and we got. For our, uh, this is our finale episode, our grand finale. Because and I'm leaving Kansas City. Kirby is leaving Kansas City. Where are you going? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Get a little closer to your mic. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's, it's, it's your chair, yeah. Um, yeah, Kirby's off off to the great northeast, um, to an extreme metal and beer town, like extreme extreme music and beer town. Very exciting for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're wifed up, you're ready to do, yep. your, do your thing in, in Heberg. Shout out to the wife, shout out to uh, Pittsburgh, shout out to Wiz Khalifa, <laughs> Mac Miller, Rostrum Records, uh, yeah, you know, Jack, they're all sponsoring uh, the episode. Shout out to Code Orange. Dinner Jack Denver. Harlow is also sponsoring the episode. <laughs> He's from Louisville. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But we love Jack Harlow. Well, I mean, go, go see I'm him. Friends with him. Go go Dubai. see go see Jack Harlow with the baby at Sandstone Azura Amphitheater on um, August fourteenth. I'm a uh, Shellcock is a media partner for the show. I'm not obligated to promote this right now, but I am being paid to promote that show. So please go to that if you want Shuttlecock to exist. It, it might go away if you don't go see the baby and Jack Harlow. Yeah. Also, new new season of new season of Bar Rescue featuring my father John Taffer. The goat. Um, I love that you wanted to make that like a running joke on the podcast, but I just kind of, you kind of just keep saying that and. I've never like really brought it up. Well, I mean, nobody's 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 tried this. Set. Nobody's ever. Nobody's tested you. Yeah, me. nobody's yeah. tested me on really anything ever. I gotta admit, I love that show. Yeah, That's I mean, Bar Rescue is amazing. I learned so I learned so much from Bar Rescue. <laughs> Those businesses can't be doing well though, like afterwards either, though, right? I don't know. Has anybody followed up and done like a journalistic like report on like, you can, which which of those businesses stayed open? You can read the Bible and still not believe. You know what I mean? <laughs> They've done several so, here yeah. in Kansas City, and like I think they're all still open. Yeah, minus maybe. Yeah, one. they did uh, polka dot lounge on eighty fifth. Oh wait, uh, fucking, that's right by that's right by Brooker's Day. I was there over there the other that's day. That's the like. There's some like loophole where that's the Shout last. I hope that you can time. smoke in there. Oh, sick. They have like some loophole. <laughs> Yeah, like the, the 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 Nathan for you style loophole. Like it's a it's a, it's a Broadway production, so it's a theater. It's an art thing. Uh, we're sparking up, baby. We're uh, oh, and that before we get too far, I want to. Okay, Kirby's blowing into the new condenser mic that I bought, but it's okay. Uh, it's his last podcast. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot uh, they were new. <laughs> uh, we we want to thank uh, shout out to our sponsors, uh, the Vinyl oh, Underground no, 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 no. at Seventh Heaven, offering new and used vinyl at Seventy Six and Truth in Kansas City, Missouri. Shout out to Sherman. Boys. Yeah, get, go get your sex toys there. Go get your water pipes oh, there. Sure. Also, they have all of your music, smoking, Switch and the fancy seats. Um, and um, yeah, no, and Limp Biscuit played there in the '90s, and nobody talks about that. <laughs> they played in the parking lot. It, it's on YouTube. Just go look it up. Uh, <coughs> with us today, yeah, let's, is, let's uh, introduce the gang. Go with us up. today is um, and everybody. Come up and say hello real quick when you're introduced. Uh, this is like yeah, that, mic, that mic's functioning. Oh, sleazy, sleazy E. Just don't bump it. AKA uh, Emerson Delero. <laughs> yeah, hello. How charismatic. Uh, who, who we got? Who, who do we got next, Kirby? Tell, tell me, tell me who's here. Uh, where's the? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll hit it again. <laughs> Can I hit your pen again? Yeah. Wait, no. I'll just hit this. I'm good. Okay. Uh, where did I'm, my I'm sorry, yeah, Aaron Ditch. my mom or dad are listening to this. Uh, I'm not. I cannot be. My this my sister's husband told me 
uh, I got the emotional wine drunk last night. And I like, I had like a panic attack when you told that to me. Because <laughs> I know, thought the I'm, only people that listen I'm to sure this it wasn't are hearing. my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Mora. Shout out to... <laughs> <laughs> she still fucks with me. We're cool. We're friends. Uh, what's Shout up? out. I I won't, I won't Bro, I'm gonna out. have to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna be in Pittsburgh. It won't matter. Uh, yeah, that's true. I'm shedding this skin. Yeah, Kirby's gonna fly, fly onward. I'll take a shit. Hit. He's gonna be a pen, the Pittsburgh. Pen Are you shedding that skin to wear a skin suit? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah, Kirby. What, what are your sports like? You're gonna remain a Chiefs fan, of course. Uh, uh, but okay, then you might get to see the Royals put Pirates every once in a while. Probably yeah. not. So you, well, the you Pirates, Pirates suck, games. so it'll be cool. Um, I just I'm gonna be amb- ambivalent. I'm just living in Pittsburgh to because it's not Kansas City, and I'm not gonna die there. Um, and uh, quite determined. Uh, I just have to live somewhere. It's very with punk of you. My girlfriend and save money so that I can go to grad school in Europe. So I'll just live in Pittsburgh until I can afford to go to grad school in Europe, and then I'm fucking leaving the United States. God speed. Fuck Pittsburgh. this place. <laughs> you know, I was looking at rent in Naples. I was looking at rent in Naples. It's like 200, 300 bucks. Jeez, you Wait, can go, you did go, the go back and live with the Rambo. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think Emerson may be our first Italian guest on the show. Very exciting. <laughs> How, is that uh, true? Have we, what <laughs> other guests we have, have we had? We've, okay, Michael's we Italian? Nope. No. Michael's Sicilian. We're, so I'm half Italian <laughs> and half Italian Sicilian. Guest. Um, but the other other guests we have <laughs> Sicily's were... Sicily's not Italy. Other, our other guests were Matthew Gwynn, who I think is of German, mostly German-English descent, probably. Yeah. And then... Um, we had Josh Rhodes, uh, same same descent as me, my my little brother. Um, what is a, that? Half, half Jewish, half Scottish, Irish, English, probably. Um, and then uh, fucking Peter Peterson, who's Icelandic. He was here. And then Weston Funk. I don't know where the Funk family comes from. I would assume Germany. Who's Peter? <laughs> I've never met a Peter. You, you met Peter Peterson. <clears throat> he, he came the same episode that Josh and Matthew Gwynn were here. Ah, for. yes, that's right. He was tall. He, he's kind of tall, yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's up there. Not as tall as you, I don't think. Uh, okay, uh, who else is here with us? We have uh, Matthew Ryan, of course, our, our favorite man. Hey. Uh, come, come up to the microphone and say hello so people know your voice when you're speaking. Hello, everybody. That's Matthew. We love Matthew. Uh, check out his band Psy Wars demo if you haven't yet. It fucking rips. Um, then next up, we got our man. Hello. How's Ian Cobb? That's Ian Cobb. Nice Cop. to meet you, too. Uh, we love him. <laughs> And next up. Hi, I'm Janet Dance Eisen. I appreciate the opportunity to be in my own living room tonight, uh, drinking soda. No, <laughs> and you, you, some of you may recognize Janet from uh, modeling the latest shuttlecock t shirt in the magazine. Um, Very exciting yeah. time, great shirt, great quality. Her, her modeling right career now. is is off to a great start. She's Taking gonna off. Get, get a lot of work soon. I Book think. me on the internet. Book her. Hit me up. Do things. <laughs> Kirby, Kirby has the ice. Um, and next up, who, who we got here? Hi, this is Cam. Cam, Cam is our incoming roommate. Incoming as at, roommate. when Kirby's leaving, yeah. Cam's staying on the couch for a minute. But we're we're all kicking it. It's like, it's good vibes. It's a great time. Um, yeah, I can turn up the mic. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have to type that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, which, 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 just which, which a tiny bit, so that like, so that the range okay. of what it picks up is like, like not six inches, but yeah, like yeah. twelve to eight. Okay, and 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 if it, if you're concerned, look at the wavelength on the laptop and make sure it's. Like oh, that's medium. a good idea. That is helpful. Okay. We're figuring it out as, as we go. We've never potted with this many people. Uh, I think the last podcast I did with this many people was Drop Dead XX, which contains members of now the Black Star Kids. Shout out to the Black Star Kids. They're rock and rolling right now. Yeah. Um, they're famous. Yeah, they're going to be they're fucking don't, famous. Don't, don't bump stuff on the table. Um, and our, our final guest today is a longtime fan of the show and friend of the podcast. Uh, what's up, Jason? What's up? This is Jason Shroud. I am not the final guest. I would like oh, to yes. introduce Barbara. Barbara's here. Come here, Barbara. Barbara. Say something. Yeah. Meow. Meow. Fuck yeah. She's a little shy right now, but oh. she may Barbara's a very talkative yeah. cat, but she's she's uh she's, she's being shy at the moment. Yeah. We'll, you'll, we'll hear from her later. She's selling peas. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so um Kirby, I think we're gonna since you're the our outgoing 
post. It's the big finale. You're, mo you're moving away in a month or so here. Um, what? Yes. You, you, you wanted to get some things off your chest about Kansas City. Oh, I, 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 not all okay. at once. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> sprinkle it through the episode. Yeah, do you want, is there anything you want to kick off with? Uh, yeah. fuck or Gaza. Fuck or Gaza KC on 43rd and Main. They fired me for getting checked into a mental hospital. There's some real, some real bitch made shit over there. Yeah, fuck that shit. Probably no mask, no meatball. Damn. Come on. Yeah, yeah that was corny as shit. Horrible no mask, no meatball. You should sue their, their pants off. off. Even though they have a gay flag outside, like we see through you. Like fuck you. Yeah. Uh, dude, all the worst businesses have a gay flag outside. Uh, <laughs> <I> swear. <laughs> Let's go. Oh that can be taken the wrong way. <laughs> That's okay. I think we're mostly gay here, so it's cool. Yeah, I think the, I think the room is major. The room is majority gay, right? Yes. Now. I'm. I'm. Sure. I'm Emerson. being homophobic. <laughs> Emerson's allowed to be homophobic. It's okay. No, he's not. No, I'm. I'm allowing him. It's, this is oh, also okay. My, this is also my it's sanctioned when the, within the house. <laughs> Arbiter. Aaron. This is the, the house is a Arbiter. safe space, as as we've covered before. But like. I think I mentioned before, like, you can listen to Screwdriver here. It's okay, I promise. I won't be mad. Oh, no. I love listening to Screwdriver. The, the first album, I haven't explored the rest of the catalog yet, but I'm told it's actually very good from a guitar standpoint. Talk about the prank. Does, does Matthew, do you have input? It sounds like you have input. Yeah, I'm moving in. <laughs> uh, white noise, better sketchy band. White noise. She What's what? What happens in white noise? Tell us. What, what is, good, man. Is, is it straight? Is it like another like seventies, eighties like skinhead band? Have, have you? Yeah. Have you? Uh, I don't know when they're from, but have you ever listened to like Reckless Aggression? I have not listened to Reckless Aggression. Yeah, that's, that's okay. You, you'll have to send me some bullshit. some links. As long as they're as long as they're more about hating oh, Jews than hating people of color, <laughs> I might be down to listen to them. Yeah. Except, I mean, no, I'm a curious guy. Yeah, yeah, way, so, okay. I reckless aggression. My dad's hair. <laughs> My dad's hair will will grow Kirby, from his you? back <laughs> up his this, neck. This is getting picked up. The, if, he, if he doesn't shave it, it'll connect with his head hair. And this is like if he this is like if he grew a, a, a what's it called a handlebar? Mm -hmm. Not handlebar. Uh, what mutton? Not mutton. Shoe. No, it like it's you know, it talking about Barbara. Uh, looking yeah, like Kirby's dad. It goes. Okay. Somebody no, this if, if Barbara would look like my dad if <laughs> if Barbara had a mustache. <laughs> If Bubs, Barbara had a mustache that connected to a neck beard, that connected to the back of the head, that connected to the back hair and the head hair. So that's all I was. That's all I was saying. So basically, y'all can make it. that whatever. Y'all can make okay, that whatever. I'm, I'm you also want. okay. Wait, I'm gonna. She's so fresh. Oh, I need to roll it. You have anything to say, Barbara? Such a no. <laughs> okay, if, okay, follow the at Shuttlecock Mag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you'll see the, the disposable camera photo I shot of Barbara being hoisted into the air like a small child. To the mic. Or something. More like a piece she of still food, not like speak. a sandwich. I hope people aren't upset that we've gone 15 minutes without talking about soda yet, but hey, we're, we're just You want me to crack this? You're, you're you, know, the, you want me to crack the red? Yeah, okay, Can give us... Ice? Okay, we're going to sample... Okay, yeah, the, uh, make sure... Kirby, you you have the ice there. Oh yeah, I have the ice. Some ice in the car. Everybody, okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some more ice sound effects. <laughs> Is it broken up enough? No. <laughs> I keep get a, get a hammer. I've been losing it. I Mar grab Barbara the mic and it's gone every time. And I'm not. I'm like seven months sober, so it doesn't make sense. I'm just okay. losing my um, cup. Of hopefully, water. I don't have to edit out the uh, this crunching is... noise that just occurred. <laughs> That's okay, I think it's yeah, fine. I got a double cup so of that. Hopefully, I didn't fuck up anybody's ears, like listening with headphones. As a fan of the pod, I can tell you that people enjoy the breaking of the ice. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. No, Thank I, you. I, I, I told you this. And especially <laughs> the pouring of the ice into the glasses. I have a glass. That's just like the yeah. they be doing that a... shit all the time. Maybe, okay, and maybe once this is posted, I'll also take an Instagram or Twitter poll about whether people like the ice sounds. Can we get <laughs> the ice we'll, going we'll put into it, we'll this? Put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, come get some. Yeah, pass right? the ice. And you can break it open. It's, a, it's yeah. just watering. Grab it with your hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably get another cup. I've had my mouth all over this one. Yeah, what are you? What's up, the oh, dude, on that. I got ice on the carpet, dude. I'm kind of gay, bro. <laughs> I am fully vaxxed and relaxed. Uh, well, oh, yeah. We, we love to be vaxxed and relaxed. It's the best way to be. 
honestly. Um, even though even though I think the Moderna vax might be fucking with my tinnitus, I'm not sure. I feel like it may have had a small effect in my ear. Because I'm is having hyperacusis, which is like when your ears are ultra sensitive from damage. Why, um, why do you have tinnitus? No, noise damage, live music, loud music. Oh, that sucks. Music. Too many, get too many rock concerts. Yeah, Sorry. Except they're, they're working, and they say they're working on things for it, but it's all very good. Yeah, they've been working on cancer for like a hundred years. Like, I feel like tonight, the tonight's cure sounds a little, it sounds a little bit more curable though, but. Yeah, but like, all this no, but the inner, <laughs> all yeah, this the inner, curable. The inner ear is quite mysterious, yeah. and, and uh, it's hard to test on, I guess. So, yeah, I'm seeing yeah. an audiologist this week, hopefully she gets me back into live music mode at That's some point. Good. What do you have to wear? You have to wear like. Well, I I, I have been wearing ear earplugs, like yeah. custom musician earplugs, high high That's grade. But it's not enough all the time, I guess. Um, well, I started wearing them after I got mild tinnitus when I was fifteen. Mm -hmm. So this is all very interesting, I know. Okay, but now everybody has a chair. Everybody has a cup. Everybody has ice. Everybody yeah. We're mm -hmm. in the zone. We're crowded around the table. It's, it's I don't. Nice. I don't have a cup. It's gonna, it's gonna sound great. Yeah, yeah, give me, ooh, shake of the glass. Sounds great. Shake of the glass. Shake of the glass. Oh, there we go. Now we're, yeah, we're you're, you're feeling the vibes. Listeners at home, you love it. All right. You got to pop the cat. We're all like sipping. Let's pop this shit. Okay, yeah, okay, so our first Let's, segment will be three. Well, let me, okay, we, let me my, get my the, parents brought me six craft sodas back from Eureka Springs. Shout out to my parents. Love you guys. Uh, I don't know if you're listening. You've, I hope you're not almost, kind of, but whatever. Uh, you're cool. Um, uh, My parents aren't listening. Yeah, shout out to anyone who's listening. Um, this My is listening. We're, we're gonna try three uh, <laughs> sodas from some some shop in Eureka Springs, and they're all uh, mostly brands like craft brands I'm not familiar with. So Kirby, we'll, do you want to we'll start off? These you want to read our first one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So today, for the for our first soda, we have from all the way from Belleville, Texas, we have. Delicious Booth's Beverages Refreshing. What's, what's the flavor? Um, providing us with a, uh, a red soda called Picture Show Cinnamon Red Hot Soda. Damn, that's hot. That sounds kind of sexy. 12 that's ounce, 12 ounce, uh, 12 ounce glass bottle. It's, uh, it's, it's not a twist off, as far as I can tell. Clear bottle. Um, it looks like cough syrup. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks <laughs> like cough syrup, like and it, it looks like Robitussin. Yeah. I gotta say, I have a hunch that when we drink that first, we're not gonna be able to taste anything else afterwards. Uh, That's fair. It's possible. We'll, we'll, do, we'll be fair. doing some small sips. Uh, it, give, given that we have like eight people here, eight. We'll, they will have to Yeah, I got the sips. Chardonnay. It's a, it's a palate cleanser. Okay. I, I uh, really let's, hope let's, that this tastes oh. like big red. I, I feel like red, it. Red, 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 I feel like soda. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I God tier. Soda. Ideally, so, it's a superior big, big red because big red tier soda can kind of wear on you. Like, big red. There's some. Big red. It doesn't always taste great. God tier. Is big red soda. not the cream soda. I thought it was it's, like it's like red cream. Like cream soda. Uh, it's, no, no, it's kind of cinnamon soda. It's cinnamon. I thought it was the. Oh, I thought you meant the soda. Oh, and I think red cream is like cinnamon cream, and but red, what big red is like cinnamon soda. Basically, because uh, Dr Pepper, as we've red discussed cream before, soda isn't, is red cream soda isn't red cream soda isn't cinnamon at all. Cherry, it tastes mainly, more like bubble except bubble it has really. twenty three flavors or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kirby looked this up one episode. You can go back in the archives. Yeah, uh, Dr Pepper does in fact have twenty three yeah, flavors. We're, we're not going to do this again though. Okay, no, so we let's, won't. Let's, we let's can't. open this new soda. <laughs> Crack it open, Kirby. Okay, yeah. Got a... No, no need. Oh. He's, he's doing the lighter trick, folks. So it's gonna very cool, very. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Got, got some air time. Some uh, what's it called? Hang time. <laughs> a nice steam came out. Oh, that was of sensual. Sensation. Okay, we're, we're let, let us pour. Give us this day our daily soda. Chill. Make sure we save enough. I'm yeah, I gotta get Aaron some in case the shit runs out. I'm a host. All right, you all do that. I'll just take okay, a little ready? bit. I can give somebody some of mine. I didn't think about. Really somebody can spit it. in my mouth, you know, with, with the soda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a guess. Jason, Jason, did, did, are you saying you don't want to spit in my mouth, Jason? 
No, that's, that was my reaction to just smelling the uh, cinnamon soda here. <laughs> Jenna is also coughing from smelling the soda, I think. It's got a... It's got a, a now, upon smelling it, there's a little bit of a... Uh, uh, what's the whiskey? The, the cinnamon whiskey. The fireball. Fire oh, this, 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 this is fireball, fireball Jason. Um, we've, we've had cinnamon sodas before at Jenna once. Um, and... Kirby immediately made the fireball association on a past cinnamon soda, but yeah. so being a not much of a drinker myself, I was free to enjoy the cinnamon soda that we tried on yeah. that former episode. It tastes like the cinnamon jelly. Jo- jo- it's not bad. It's not it's good. It's not uh, fireball like on taste. Yeah, it tastes like fireball. It's, it's very yeah. smooth. It's surprisingly smooth. Extremely I don't, mild. I, compared yeah, to the I don't. Smell. Yeah, no. I wish I was. Okay, no. It, the, the, the spiciness, or like, you know, whatever, like, that's in your throat, weirdly, and it's not really part of the main taste of the soda. The main taste is just but like show smooth, it's in your throat. smooth, sugary, but it really hits your nose and your throat <laughs> like with, a the, with the cinnamonness. Oh, yeah. so it's so dry. Isn't that throat, but dry. dry. I can't say this is an enjoyable what experience. Is I'm not, I don't like this one. <laughs> Folks, how do we feel about it? I think it's good, actually. It's bad. Yeah, I think this is I, a, I think this is a bad soda. It. I feel like branded as like a cinnamon soda, it should be more cinnamon flavored. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of bland. It tastes like when the syrup's uh, running like out. Yeah. yeah, it tastes like when the syrup's running out. Um, it tastes like salsa. Yeah. What did they say after? It tastes like, so, it tastes like uh, soapy water, but like just cinnamon or something. It does taste like soapy yeah. water. It's right, like yeah, dude, okay, and I feel like the Boots brand has fucked us before. Oh, I think the Boots brand well, we, oh, has we definitely tried, fucked us. We before. tried. Uh, I think we had the caramel candy apple flavor, and it wasn't hitting as hard as it I needed remember to. that. Yeah, that episode. Yeah, uh, Jason, can you give us some, some hates this commentary shit. on that episode? <laughs> some critique. <laughs> <laughs> some, I just did like the. We'll do a feedback loop here. To you. I, I honestly, I just remember you talking about that flavor. Uh, Jason, as as like maybe the most consistent. That's listener. crazy. You okay, can no, listen to this. Quick, I want to. No, no. Ian, Ian, and Matthew listen too. So okay, do we have favorite episodes, favorite moments from past episodes, real quick, <laughs> lagging round? Uh, anytime Kirby does ice in a glass. Okay. Pretty much. And any anything else other than that? Is that the main reason um, you listen? Like, no, I'm, I'm I'm a soda fanatic, so yeah. I like the pod just in general. But that, those are my favorite. Fuck yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, Jana, Ian, Matthew, mm-hmm. any favorite podcast? So pod yeah. moments. Honestly, I listen to it because like y'all are my friends and that shit's like I also love soda, but just hearing y'all fucking crack up and hearing Kirby like roast a fucking bowl and then just <laughs> hack a fucking bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. It's to listen to like on a podcast platform. <laughs> Anybody Kirby, your your movie? antics are really this <laughs> yeah, guy's are the, the main pole of the program. We're learning. I'm. We didn't. We, you didn't. We, we, you deserve more credit. I'll, I'll put it out there. I need to keep it. Keep it one hundred. Kirby's been underrated. As <laughs> I mean, a whole, he's, no, he's integral to the podcast, though. I, I I have said that before. Like it wouldn't. It just me. It would not be a fun program. Kirby's a shooting star. But I'm, I guess, I think I kinda, as, as we've discussed before, probably I kind of just add the structure and the, the distribution. But Kirby's the star here. He's he's the main man. Nobody's gonna care about the soda selector as much as sipping on some soda, and that's okay. That's, that's you know, that's yeah, reality. That's still one of my favorite parts of music. Hockey. Yeah, Ian hates music. He only likes reading about the soda. <laughs> True. I, I kind of hate music too. Shout out to Dennis. Music, so my ears hurt. <laughs> rock, right. rock and roll ruined my life. Right, I've right. just been listening to you, disco. That's cool. Yeah. It's like not did, you, did you get my Italian disco playlist? I say. No. You didn't send it. I don't think. Maybe you did. Sorry. Okay. okay. It, it's like Italian disco and like a little bit of grindcore. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah. Sounds yeah. like the the funny games soundtrack. It's yeah. <laughs> it's my brother. It's my it's brother. Like it's like a playlist. It's my it's the liked videos from my brother's YouTube account. <laughs> shout out Nightmare, shout out Maximalism Records, shout out Thad. That's my blood set. Um, oh, Kirby, do 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 you want do we want to talk about your your snack at all? Oh yeah, no, I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna come with a real quick. Have you not sabri, sabritas you, to, turbos flamas? Uh, are you, are you, <laughs> was that, that fucked up? Was it fucked up? It was just super white. Yeah. Was it, yeah. Was it, was it, was it, 
Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. like, I don't think have you ever been, been to a Mexican restaurant? restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I see the logo? Is that a Frito Lay product? Well, uh, it's, oh, no, it's, no. Sab it's Sabritas. Sabritas. <laughs> Makes sense. Unaffiliated. They're owned by Pepsi. Uh oh. Which Pepsi is a Frito, Frito Lay product? <gasps> wow, that's, so that's their Takis competitor because it's yeah. the same white colors. Turbos, Turbos Flamas. It's like that's the, that's it's kind like of the, fragrant. It's like the it's like the honey barbecue uh, Frito uh, corn chips that are twisted, but it's it's <laughs> the, so it's, the, it's the Fuego <laughs> Taki <laughs> seasoning. So it's very interesting, and they are delicious. <laughs> I love Takis. I eat them with a nitro glove on. Okay. Oh, and I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh yeah. Kirby keeps keeps his hands real clean. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm gonna be doing a snack review also, awesome. but we'll do that between a, a different soda, just to keep it rolling. I mean, I'm um, unprotected right now, though. I know I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> no, that, that means I'm, I'm, I'm not wearing yeah, the glove. Uh, you're hitting the, the taki uh, offshoot raw. <laughs> I still don't know the name of that. Kirby, what's our next soda gonna be? <laughs> okay, so all the way from Tombstone, Arizona, we have. Earp's original sarsaparilla, and uh, it's got this amazing picture of a re um, of myself reenacting <laughs> a scene from Tombstone, featuring <laughs> Wyatt Earp as played by Kurt Russell, as what? as costumed by me. Is that what the town's named after? <laughs> uh, or is the movie named after the town? No, it's the town, and then the movie, and then the pizza. Um, <laughs> And then, um... Kirby, what, what are your top three favorite frozen pizzas? Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> um, honestly... Since we're talking Tombstone, the, shout the, out to Tony's. For some reason, <clears throat> the Udi's... Kind of the Udi's, the Udi's gluten-free pepperoni pizza is, like, really good to me. The gluten-free like crust... So surprising to me that yeah, I know. The oh, uncured yeah. pepperoni is really good. I don't know, dude. I don't know why. Straight up, doesn't like, Whole Foods put together, like, a nice-ass frozen pizza? Like, they uh, can take and bake? Probably. Like, I mean, I, weirdly, I I've almost Papa never Murphy's. had Papa Murphy's, but my brother worked at Papa Murphy's for, like, one or two years. Josh would. Shout out Josh. Josh, Josh went Josh from Papa Murphy's, too. Never mind. <laughs> shout out to 10 for $10 Totino's Party Pizzas. Oh, also, shout out to... Yeah, oh, when, yeah, I was no, living on two, when I was living on $2 was a day, that. I would eat the great value version of those Totino pizzas. They were, 70, they were 75 cents each yeah. at some fresh. Um, and when I was, like, too mentally ill to hold a job, I would just, uh, I would just, like, like... I would just take a bunch of change up to Sunfresh and get a bunch of those 75 cent pizzas. That was also when I was eating a bunch of, or I was drinking a bunch of Pedialyte uh, for meals because I couldn't afford it and I, I was gonna, I didn't want to die. Dip it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, also, I wanted to get like oh I feel like since we since we talk junk food on this podcast like so frequently, like junk fast food. <laughs> I feel like I I, I need to shout out to the pizza yeah, shuttle company for expanding to both Overland Park and the Crossroads. Not the pizza year. shuttle. Yeah. I feel like pizza shuttle is bad. Pizza shuttle, it's no. I mean it's like not high quality pizza, but it's, it's delicious. It's, right? You get a ten inch you get a ten inch pizza and a drink for like five Not bucks safe. and then yeah. and then their special like they're everybody gets the cream cheese pizza and it fucking slaps yeah, that's the right? pizza. Yeah. no they put one in crossroads oh, that's shit. yeah, yeah. It's, it's real i used to eat that shit all the time no sage loves it so i feel bad like talking yeah, shit go, on it go pick up <laughs> like, shout out sage hey. shout out sage but sage was like was like woke me up out of a nap and was like they're bringing pizza shuttle here <laughs> i was like what <laughs> Because it's that. But cool. Anyway, cool story. I don't um, really like. <laughs> I don't. I don't really <laughs> like. No, I'm fucking with you. I'm sorry. Like I don't really I like. like it's yeah, yeah, not a fan. Okay. Wait, are, is there any pizza you like? Like grandma. Grandma. Oh, <laughs> you, you want the real <laughs> shit because you got the Italian lineage. I will like eat anything. You're you're a pizza purist. You. I'm kind of. You, you will also eat anything pizza. your grandma cooks. Dude, yeah, anybody would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. All right. White herbs, yeah, sarsaparilla, we're going it. I'm, so, I'm oh. sorry if I came with any aggression, Emerson. I, I was Dude, you're like crazy. inherently Sim not yeah. aggressive. You're simply like, pulling your leg. You're like kind of a... Kind of yanking your chain is what I was trying to do. Yeah. What's your dude? 
I, I feel like you know the cops. Yeah, I do. Even if you're trying people are the funniest people to me. So like, I mean, people. Yeah. Okay. Is that why I'm funny? Yeah. I'm not mean. You're kind of mean sometimes. I've heard you be mean before. Am I mean? Um, I feel like you can if you need to be, but I don't. Have, I mean, I haven't hung out with you as much as some people, so I, I'm. I, I'm, I'm like. Not. I just think, I just think, like, people are so fucking sensitive these days. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck all the PC heads out Why here. Why can't I say retard um, anymore? Not, yeah, not letting us say words. Like, with that, like, you don't know our lives. You don't know what we can say. <laughs> fuck you. And also, um, yeah, I'm a cop, and uh, my publication's racist. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving in, like, five days. <laughs> Should we talk about what I'm kind kidding. of drool Ian is sucking on today? Ian, the drool? Yeah, well, okay, let's get through this soda, and then we'll do, yeah, no, we'll, we'll I'm, do a I'm, deeper dive into yet. Emerson and Ian's fate. Oh, so true. That's a good idea. Wait, Cam, you need some of this one? Yeah. Uh, this we're is good. Out. We're running low. Because it's root okay. beer. It tastes like root beer. Tell me if there's Which is a good soda. Yeah, okay. Shit. It tastes like it tastes like root beer if the machine is broken oh. at the thing at Texas yeah. Tom's. Or if they well, haven't it in a while. Well, yeah. Well, is are 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 our drinks watery at all at this point though? Is the ice? I, I gave, I've been drinking the. I gave ice. my ice. Honestly, the, the ice. ice I've always felt like ice dilutes it. I feel like we should just go raw with a, a brand new plastic cup. It would, I mean, this will okay, be wasteful. I feel like, a, like a cooler would be ideal. A cooler would be ideal. Wait, Maybe refrigerate like drinks a, a cooler full of ice. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, but but we, we, we chit chat for so long that like they kind of would turn. Mm -hmm. I think we've tried that kind of before. Yeah. yeah. The conclusion is I've done it. I've, I've implemented a frosty mug. So there's yeah. Like yeah. Point yeah. So it, well, there's a lot of moving parts involved. So when you guys are doing this pod in the past and Kirby's doing the ice in the glass, is that happening right here? Yes. Yeah. Or is that happening right here? Literally exactly where you're sitting. Yeah. Everything happens at the 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 uh, coffee table that's been in my family for at least three decades now. So good. This coffee so table, good. for those who for those who can't see what's happening right now, it's, it's a this square. thing's got like a it's got wheels, it padded has carpet like, on the side, yeah. bottom and thing. It's wooden. It has a coffee stain on yeah, it. Yeah, and there's like stains all over the top because my parents gave up on it because they knew they were going to get a new coffee table soon. But then they just gave it to me when I moved out. Yeah, so thanks again. I when I first saw it, I thought it was just a tabletop. Well, no, I think. Of an ottoman. No, I think I think actually it got moved to our basement at our house at my parents' house first, and it got just abused by like all of my friends and my and the brother's friends maybe. And like I think we got once there was one big stain on it that we I don't remember happening. We kind of just let all the stains happen. But I think it gives a character now, and I don't want to get rid of it. Dude. You, I'm sentimental about every object in my life. You Midwest kids are so lucky that you have Emerson basements. Spring. Yeah, basements are <laughs> Because, like, okay, like, smoking weed in a basement, temp controlled. Smoking weed in, in an attic, seizures, like, heat strokes <laughs> and shit, like, literally. Man, like, you are from so Wilmington, so real. North Carolina. Yeah. Fuck yeah. If you're hard like the New York hardcore people in the eighties and nineties, you you know you have the tough come up. You, you, you had to smoke your weed out outside or in the attic. Or... That's exactly what I'm like. I'm I'm a soft soft Midwesterner with a No, it's just basement. nice. It's like we can't we can't have them because of the hurricanes and shit. Yeah, so yeah. it's like But also and also like Texas doesn't have them too, right? Basements? Yeah. Most, in yeah. St. Joe's, like, we had to smoke tobacco. I, I, don't, I don't know if I could ever go somewhere that doesn't have basements. I mean, this is all. didn't have K2, but, like, there was no K2. It's used by the landlord, and it's very dusty, so I don't go down there. I have a friend who recently was talking about it. was just literally like, yeah, there's no basements. I mean, not only do they not have basement shows, but if you have a band, you can't practice in the basements. You have yeah. to like go rent a studio. Yeah, or, or like you rent a hall out or something. your house yeah. or whatever. It's kind of annoying. The garage. But somehow they're all still having cooler hardcore shows than we are right now, and I'm pissed about it. Oh, this is true. The East Coast. East, East Coast and West, West Coast. Coast. Uh. West Coast is like on top right now. It's yeah. it hasn't been like that for like a long time. Well, I don't hardcore, know anything about like. West Coast hardcore. Except they're like there's cool shit happening everywhere. Like. Mostly, actually, more than the Midwest. Most, Midwest needs to step up its shit post-pandemic. Like, I know I don't play any instruments, and I can't really speak on that, but, like, if you're listening to this, start a fucking hardcore band, please. <laughs> a good one. A good yeah. one. Not a shitty one. Yeah, one that doesn't And, and don't be an asshole. A fast one. <laughs> a fast one that rocks. A mean one. No cheat beats. 
<laughs> oh, are we? Oh, we're sending subs here. <laughs> I, I like to call out on the cheat beats. As oh a yeah, drummer, that's a drummer. You're the first drummer uh, guest, I think. Yeah, the cheat beat. You got to knock that shit off. Yeah. Learn, not, to, pl- learn to play a punk beat right. Not gonna name any names. She said, yeah. I'm not. I don't think not I can think of anybody in Kansas City who does the cheat. <laughs> I, I never want to know of one, but I think they've been they've been name learning. Them. Name drop them. Who? Well, no, no, okay. Well, they I said know. all of these. I think I think Iggs admitted, like admitted, like publicly or like in friendly conversation to having cheated on the like loss prevention demo or maybe stuff before that. But I think they've been learning better beats, and I think I think the vault to the drum, the drumming in Volta is a higher caliber. Definitely like, better than Lost yeah. Prevention. That Lost Prevention demo was yeah. good, though. Shout out to Iggs for stepping it up. You rule. That demo was you. really good. Yeah, Volta rocks. Be, start more bands like that. They're Someone cool. should do, like, yeah, I love uh, Wayne. disco drums. <laughs> disco drums. Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, no, I, okay, I really hope Ian starts That's a Silicon a Prairie one. band soon, because that record, that LP rules. Have you listened to the Silicon Prairie LP? Ian no. Teeple's? Oh, and Olivia Gibb is in a new band in St. Louis called Hippy Fuckers. I'm excited to hear what they sound yeah. like. Ian yeah. Teeple, also Ian Cobb, though. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ian Cobb. That's me. Oh, Ian Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were calling Ian Teeple a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so Ian Teeple, why? very far from <laughs> being a cop. Ian <laughs> <K-O-P. laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Ian Cobb's more of a cop than Ian Teeple. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> I love you. Uh, but, no, I'm not. but I'm also I'm more of a cop than Ian Cop is. So. <laughs> this is confirmed. Okay, uh, do we? Are we gonna do another setup? We're gonna do one more setup yeah, before we do our uh, root beer. Don't we even talk about no, the wait. last one? Oh, oh yeah, we oh, have oh, other so no, the real setup. Okay, root, root, root beer. beer. We're gonna do root, root beer tasting between. Five and six. Uh, after this next soda, we're gonna do a vape review for Emerson's vape and Ian's vape. We're gonna okay. see what they think. I'll tell you right now, mine is bad. Okay, so the sarsaparilla was uh, a little. It, we think it's a little watery. We don't think it's from the ice in our cups, but it's not as good as the sarsaparilla that the the Chiefs guy had had. What, what was our man? No, that was the, the the Chris Jones sarsaparilla. Yeah, no. Chris, that that show was good. Chris well, that was that was like because white uh, it was it was white uh white something uh, uh, white yeah, it birch it was white birch root beer. No, I think we all, we we had the sarsaparilla also. The sarsaparilla. Okay, so there was two. There was the Broncos yeah. Tears, which was yeah, the white birch. The white birch Bronco then, Tears. That yeah, yeah. Good. So those the, are both that, good. The sarsaparilla was definitely better. This one. Yeah. This one is. This one's decent. It's not horrible it's if you just care a little little bit less about everything. <laughs> um, if you're willing to accept lower standards, yeah, of, which of soda beverage. Uh, which to be clear, sometimes. to be clear, there's no there's no shame in that. Um, whatever you have to game. do for happiness, um, and, is, and the bag is survival. Um, life life's about getting to the bag sometimes. Uh, uh, so so the yeah, the sarsaparilla. I, I really don't know what that flavor is. It's like a word for a it's specific like, flavor. Yeah, it's a similar thing to a root beer. A root. A root. It's, it's, it's not. A, it's a root beer, beer cousin. It's not root beer. It's, it's root beer. It's, yeah, it's basically root. Beer. It's, it's another plant. It's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like because because root beer plant. comes from our root, and so there's different. We've we've done a little bit of research, not that much to know what we're talking about. Very <laughs> sure. Um, so okay, do we have? Does Wait, anyone else have by Mac sarsaparilla <laughs> thoughts? The I herbs sarsaparilla. The thing about sarsaparilla is I don't have a hot take about it. Okay, you don't. It's okay. Just, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind, kind of like, just boring. It's like sugar water. So, it's yeah, so it's like barely carbonated. Sugar water purge. Okay, but I feel like we got okay. Yeah. Okay, but, okay, okay, Cam. Okay, let's let's get some of Cam's uh, soda no, history. Like, do you have favorites? Do you not drink it that much? What's your situation? I don't drink soda that much, but I could go for a McDonald's Sprite. Like a McDonald's. Oh uh, yeah. Do you, do you like McDonald's? Yes. And Red Bull. Is like Red Bull. What's your favorite Red Bull? The OG, OG Red Bull, and the cranberry Red Bull, but they Wait, got rid of it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's that shit. Yeah. That shit. Okay, I, I, I've replaced it with the dragon fruit one though. That one's very good. The watermelon's pretty good. Also, the dragon, 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 dragon I don't like the wa- watermelon oh, flavored uh, shit, I guess. Dragon you were talking dragon. about other watermelon the stuff. Green, yeah, what about the right, purple one? one? The purple one is the best one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the energy drinks we don't have many thoughts on no, I think we're gonna move honestly, on. Honestly, soda next, kind of makes me suicidal. Uh, good thing you're moving. <laughs> I got a question. I think we should Did you guys ever cover Puma Cola on the pod? Yeah, no, that's we discovered it together. You you put us on and it's now one of my favorite sodas. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, did, I did fuck with Puma. Did you like I appreciate that. I, 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 did, I, like I gifted it, it to me in my record. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's for my birthday. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's like top five. It's going to be. Okay, well, the first like five minutes was the mic check, so. Oh, okay. There's also yeah. there's also multiple purposes for this recording right now. It's yeah, no, it's kind of a, docu- a document of this time and life. Yeah, exactly. It's a celebration and of that's, Kirby. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The what? The blind test? Oh no, we're gonna do that between five and six. Oh word, okay. And we might have to have a cigarette. Are we doing this with the other root beer? I don't know. What did you want to? Uh, we, yeah. we'll, we'll let's include that one. Wait, will there be enough for everyone? Maybe it's not. It's too small. Yeah, we gotta small. either do it with. It's it. not good. Let's anyway. put it. <laughs> let's put it with the. Let's put it. Matthew doesn't. Well, like if we put it with the yeah. root beer, taste, it can. I can. It can do whatever. I'm okay, like, we'll put it with the root beer taste test because. If there's a shitty one, then you might yeah. think that one that you think is good, you might think it's the shitty one. You got a shitty one in your hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's not good. That's okay. Brown. Like, oh, it's a brown grenade. Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my snack review now. Yeah. So snack review, cool. real quick. Um. From 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 the super flea today. Shout out to we, the super flea. Shout out to the super flea. Amazing place. It's the home of hustle and wisdom. In Kansas City, Missouri. They sell ten dollar poppers. Yeah, they sell ten. Oh, uh, let's let's, let's not put them on blast though. It's, I mean, it's, it's a it's a it's a reputable yeah. establishment. No, it's definitely it's all great and legal and we love them. Oh, we might try and book a show there. That'd be fun. DHS cleaner. Oh yeah, isn't that right? Yeah. Um, they have a okay. Ian came in with a big bang popcorn. You got it. Okay, but for my snack, I have the. Put it in there. Yeah, turn flash on and once it's popping, you're good. Okay, uh, I got the E Fruity Share Size Mini Sea Creatures Gummies. Um, oh, you need to roll it. Um, we're taking pictures. Uh, gummy candy. It has a bunch of on it. It looks pretty standard. I don't know. It was twenty five cents, and it was a bit in next to a bin of expired um, drugstore like Dayquil shit. So I'm expecting this to be pretty good. What is it, candy? Yeah. It's very chewy. Probably so chewy that I w- it would be considered expired. Is it vegan? <laughs> I see. Does it have gelatin in it? Um, sweet and fish are vegan. It's not so super expired. sweet. Maybe also because it's expired. <laughs> what is um, This is a very generic, mediocre gummy fruit <laughs> candy. Um, everybody else can try some if they want. That was it's, not vegan. it's not vegan. Oh, very sorry. It's not. Shout out to whoever invented the pretzels with the peanut butter in them. Oh, oh hell yeah, Snyder's. So Shout out to that section of Super Flea where you walk back almost to the tires and the wheels. Yeah. And there's the one bald guy in a white polo shirt sitting at a desk smoking a cigar like a crime movie. <laughs> For what reason? Is he oh, there? Yeah. That is many Can we dynamics. Talk about the Declaration of Independence hung up on the wall. Wait, what? what, 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 what the Declaration of Independence is it on the wall. Was, that's an important document. Original. The Declaration of Independence. <laughs> the original. <laughs> yeah. The original. Yeah, that's where they actually filmed. Um, what was the movie? Um, Cage. World War Three. I don't know. Face off? No, the no, yeah, steals the declaration. <laughs> national oh, Treasure. Na- they yeah. filmed National Treasure at Super Play. The Patriots? That's honestly fucking sick. National Treasure. Yeah, National Treasure. National treasure. And I, I, if, if my memory serves correctly, Ma- National Treasure 2 also rocks. I think it does. There's like and four. is there a third like one? There has to be, there might be four. a third one. That I, I would be surprised if there's a fourth one. Relish? Huh? No, we no, came from last night. <laughs> really? Where'd you get? Did you put it in the My microwave job. again? Where's your job? Uh, the theater department. Right they had a show last night. We took down the set. The theater. Y'all want some? It smells big ass bag. It's good. I'm not gonna turn it down. Jason, it's really good. Let's go. It's getting popping in here right now. Yeah, it's brown. Let's get it. Oh, you know, I got a great idea. And I was like, oh, send that back over. Plastic cup for popcorn. Amazing. Okay, uh, Kirby, do you want to serve us another soda? Yeah, I got you. Um, rolling, rolling along real steady. Mm-hmm. Yo, is that right. news? No. Uh-oh. It's uh from my it's chickpeas and marinated artichoke and cherry tomatoes and 
cucumber and right. oh, hell yeah. to next up One we of the got best flowers next up we got uh, yeah. americana handcrafted delicious vintage handcrafted sweetened with pure cane sugar americana huckleberry one sentence <laughs> in a huckleberry. in a 353 milliliter bottle that's such a weird number um I huckleberry. So huckleberry. Yeah, I also don't know what this is. What is that? We, I know we, about boysenberries. We had snozzberry one time. We still don't really know what that was. Is this soda from Eureka Springs? Up. Yeah, but huckleberry we don't know. Huckleberry Finn where, was where, the book. Where is this bottle? All the old white teachers used as an excuse to say the N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, wrote, I, I wrote on my. Uh, the, oh, That's the historical significance the, of that book and nothing else. Even though, shout out Mark Twain. Yeah, Mark Twain is really actually fun to read. Mm -hmm. But, um,. I, on the Olathe East Hawkeye, which was our, our high school newspaper, I wrote a story one time. I I interviewed one English teacher that would say the N-word when reading Tom Sawyer, wow. and I interviewed another teacher that would not say it. And I was like, yo, what's up? Why do you say it? Why do you not say it? And that was the whole article, and I think it was an, a good piece of journalism. That's a really good piece of journalism. <laughs> like, as, so as, a, as a document of, like, 2012 in Midwest America, just the, like, a public nice school perspective, you know? What did they say? Well, one of them was like, I want to be true to the story. It meant it meant something that they used that word. And the other one was like, yeah, it makes people uncomfortable. I'm not, I don't want to say that. <laughs> so pretty standard the more reactions. More important thing about my brain. Oh, but the, the two teachers, me, they were siblings. Oh, oh They were both God. English teachers at, our, at my high school. <laughs> okay. Mr. Mays and Mrs. Borland. Shout out to Mrs. Borland. Oh, except she got married. She what has a different name now. Uh, really? Mr. Mays was the one that said it, mm, okay. um, but may maybe he's coming around. Maybe he hasn't. He's, uh, I, I, have, I have no ill will towards Mr. Mays, um, but I had core teachers. Um, Emotionally, uh, uh, like someone for a um, meat snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No. So this this soda so, is Huckleberry. Yeah, where is this? Where is this bottle? Where is this brand from? What's the name of the brand again? Americana. Americana. Shout out Lana Del Rey. Did you say it's no. <laughs> <I love> that. <laughs> the new Lana Del Rey rocks. You listen to In My Headache with Aaron Rhodes and Bill Brownlee on this podcast feed. It's an album discussion, two new albums and one throwback album on every episode. It's very fun to listen to. We're 30 years apart um, and talking music together. Kirby, go on. Americana Huckleberry. Americana is a trademark of Orca Beverage Incorporated. <laughs> Mukilteo, Washington, Washington. 98275. Is the zip code. Intercycle it. <laughs> You bet your ass we're going to recycle it. I, I thought would, this was your Eureka Springs soda. I'm, oh, no, it was from a, a, a shop. They have Eureka Springs, Springs has Springs. a lot of Huckleberry things. I have okay. Lauren and I were there in June, and that's, they had that's Huckleberry ice cream. Really? Yeah. That sounds tasty. incredible. What was the shop? Do you know? I, I can't remember. Okay. Well, I'm sure people can find it. Um, can you little product? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's utilitarian. It, we inherited it from a past year. Emerson, may I interrupt your chickpea salad dinner? Yeah. Or I bet that that was fire. My my uh my prediction is this is gonna be a variation of a a grape type of uh, yeah, yeah. soda, and that's that, that information is that information is solely based off of uh, the color of the soda. Yeah. What was the, the smell? Wait, too. What, what's the flavor build as? Oh. It smells like medicine. Uh, it smells like shit. Huckleberry. Huckleberry, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. You know what's like really funny. fucking gross? Like elderberry. Yeah. I think no. elderberry. I, know I, I think elderberry There's so is many berries. Really good. I like to I like to scan uh, uh, elderberry good. stems uh, because they look like black metal uh, they look like black metal band uh, names. That's all oh. smart. That's so I like from when I worked at the Kemper, I brought home a bunch of uh, elderberry stems because they're all yeah, fucking like wild, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a fucking, like, like it's like a map stems. of neurons. I need so, so like, I, need, great. I need so much wine that I I'm kissing purple and black. Why do I always need so much? How much do we hate this, folks? It's Shout out to so I think Shalif. It tastes like children's medicine. Yeah, it, I think it, it tastes like iron. I, no, really I fuck with this. Okay, I don't think it's bad. My hot take is that. Some medicine tastes really good, and this tastes like a good kind of medicine. No, like yeah. Zyrtec, Zyrtec I, I like it. Good. I like it yeah. too. Pretty good. It's I, like kind of tart when you first yeah. it. It, yeah. it smooths out. Yeah, it's mm, that's pretty good. Sure. No, this makes me. I would drink this any day of the week. I'm upset. If you know me, please buy me the Americana Huckleberry uh, soda. You can have me and Kirby's. Oh, okay. Are you backed up? I'm backed up. <laughs> Do you want this? I just poured mine in. Yeah. Oh, it's like. Okay, sorry. I, I poured myself a decent amount. I like how that's a question now when you meet people. Are you vaxxed up? 
It's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> I yeah, I don't actually, ask. Like, I don't ask anyone really. Like I, I, only, I, only, I only ask about like mask etiquette when it, when it seems appropriate, but that's about it. I kind of say it as a joke. Yeah. I I. Max, have, shout uh, to the max up shorties. I have special <laughs> immunity blood. I have O blood, so I'll never get sick. Mm. <laughs> Okay, yeah. do we have any, like, thoughts Total on... Analogy. Okay, I think it we, just, co- we it covered... It just tastes like medicine. Good. Some medicine tastes good, uh, because it's addictive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or it's made for children. Or it's made for children, and it's addictive. <laughs> um, Kids, don't do drugs. This tastes like bronchitis. <laughs> yeah, it tastes bad. Being sick as a kid, staying home, watching Spongebob. We're watching Spongebob at the crib right now. Watching Dude. Baby Boy on B- BET. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Soul Point. I like the Beverly Hillbillies. Watching, watching BH2. Uh, turning, watching, turning the channel. Oh, no. Watching, watching Wheel of Fortune and Let's Make a Deal, bitch. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Family Matters. Or Family Matters. Yeah, that gets on later in the day. But, yeah, we're Rowing watching page. that. Fantasy Factory. Oh, oh, hell yeah. For whatever reason, it's really funny. Like, me and my friend, Andrew Kramer, shout out to Andrew Kramer. Uh, you're probably not listening to this. You're a pretty normal guy. You work in real estate now. But he was my, like, best friend. We don't like, want that kind of attention. Fifth or sixth grade. He's a cool guy. Um, he, um, we, me and him were, like, every time we'd have a sleepover, we would watch uh, George Lopez on Nick at Night, and that was our thing. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit kind of rocked. We'd also watch The Map from the Middle, which is objectively a better show. Yeah. So true. That show's like two really good ones. It like makes me uncomfortable. And shout out to Frankie Muniz on Twitter. I hope you're doing well. You have some great, amazing posts. He's so. sick in the yep. head. Did he you is. see his fucking, like, the weird Lizzo? His thirst. Oh, yeah. He, he is, is like, like weird up. into that Lizzo. Frankie, stop being weird to Lizzo. Please fix He's that. He's like married. That's he is? absurd. Oh my he makes God. olive yeah, oil with married. his wife. <sighs> yeah, and he's like thirsting over Lizzo. It's like, that is like. To prove Frankie Nunez, you're state. canceled. We're we're canceling <clears throat> you right now. He's like uncancelable because he's like completely irrelevant. I don't know how he's Also shout out to Azalea that. Banks, who is also uncancelable. We, <laughs> we love you. Come on the podcast. We'll we'll restart the podcast if Azalea Banks wants to be a, a guest. We'll do it by Zoom. <laughs> do it over Instagram. Except live. except just like, yeah, don't hit them up, just hit me up. You, <laughs> you got Why? the connect. What? <laughs> do, you, do you know her? To you hang out. Connect. Oh, well, well, you want to be invited to hang out when Azalea gets on the show? No, just me and Azalea Banks hang out. Okay, I would, that sounds like a good media product I would consume. If that, was in, if, if that popped up in my podcast feed. Emerson, you should start a podcast. Okay, okay, podcast. Dude. You, you could do, like, what are, what are those two Jewish guys, like, no, their names are... Uh, Wine, Weinstein, the Weinstein brothers, right? They do like, like science. Like Harvey Weinstein? No, no, no. <laughs> they're they're like er- Eric Weinstein, and there's another Weinstein. I don't or maybe know. Maybe they go oh, by yeah, Weinstein. Yeah, and they yeah. they have like Joe Rogan type episodes, yeah. but they're actually like very scientifically illiterate. I feel like you could host a cool show like that, Emerson. Or but maybe you could do it about art. Like, you could, like, do a very <laughs> academic art podcast, but make it fun to listen to. I, like, hate art, and, like, I also have this problem, <laughs> but and I also have this problem where I don't want other people to care about what I care about for some reason, even though it makes... That's my favorite thing. Well, it makes it... So you're a gatekeeper. I'm, I'm a gatekeeper. Compl- I'm totally to a gatekeeper. <laughs> I'm completely a gatekeeper. But also, it's, like, it's, like, I'm, like, really passionate about certain things that are, like, I have, they are impossible to talk about. There's, like, two people I can talk about. Can you name one briefly? Name one of these. There's things. probably plenty of people that I could actually talk about them with, but I don't know anybody that wants to talk about like Arto. But it's what also because it? like what, what's one of the things? Antonin Arto. Go. He's like a surrealist playwright that I've been obsessed with for a long time. Say. Say it again. I mean, no, you know. Oh, no, no. um. I, I just said say. And I'm always, I'm always like trying to. Need well, some, actually, at first I was like c- trying to get my friends into him. I was like. Kirby, can it's you really ice good. Me? He's really yeah. influential. If you like Khodorowsky, then Khodorowsky exists because of him. So you should like him. Oh, you like Patti Smith? She was obsessed with him. Um, so you should like this. Nobody did. So now Go I'm off. like. So now I'm like nobody is allowed to. That's well, slippery okay, slope because so everything leads back to Jesus. We we have a. <laughs> <laughs> that's like literally true. Okay, okay, no, okay but <laughs> we, we have Kirby. a. 
Emerson, I think you'll come to find out we have a famously um, genius level of listenership. So maybe you will find a new friend to talk about this Thank stuff you. with. That's what true. Listening. Just find well, it's been documented that Emerson, only what's your, smart and hot people listen to this. Emerson, what's your, <laughs> yeah, this is true. Emerson, what's your Instagram? How can people hit you up to talk about these obscure uh, writings? It's really not that obscure, obscure honestly. Okay. But, um, no, it's really not. It's just that, um, but it's nerve underscore meter. Hell yeah. Go follow Emerson. Emerson rocks. Um, yeah, what, buy those motherfucking prints from yeah, Emerson. Buy, yeah, buy shit from Emerson. Prints. I'm about to have other stuff too. <sighs> and hold buy, buy Kirby's art maybe if we get oh. this up in time. He has art for sale. Mm. Yeah, yeah I have art for sale. Somebody yeah, buy it or else I'm going to flip out. Yeah. We'll also sell <laughs> a few pictures. Yeah. To fund our New York trip. Mm. <laughs> Dude, yes. You haven't fully discussed it. And then we can eat. I haven't fully and then discussed it. We haven't discussed it at all. Kirby, um, also, do you want to tell us about um, your your pigtail, your front pigtails you have going on right now? Oh, yeah. Well, eventually I'll shave my head and just leave devil horns. Um, but I bought the. I tried to find. You're committed to dangling. I tried to find hair clips because I like when. I like a middle part and then two hair clips on each side. Um. But right now I have it uh, tied up into devil horns. Kirby, you're the most Danzig person I know. Yes, and thank you. <laughs> and also, like my friend was like talking the other day. She was like, I, I need I like for this like photo project or something, she was like, I need I need a Peter Steele type. I'm like, the closest thing I know is Kirby, except his hair is short. Yeah. I I also I've done modeling before. Uh, I will do modeling. I have a Jagged facial structure, and I am you reckless. Have, and, and you have character. Yeah. Like, it, it, yeah, like I can be. I can character. be anything. I can be whatever you want. I'm incredible at acting. That's, that's not quite what I meant, but you sure. <coughs> yeah, Kirby, have you acted before? What, what What are your acting creds? Have you been in school productions, community productions? Uh, yeah, I played a jock films. in. I played two twin jocks, and I was like both the twins yeah. in this eighth grade play. This eighth grade like murder mystery play, um, and I can't remember. But I think I ended up being the murderer in that play. <laughs> one of them, did. Yeah. Um, not one of them killed, the other one didn't. You're trying to figure out which one. Yeah, but it was I was the one who was killing the whole time. Wow, Jekyll Hyde, Jekyll Hyde. Uh, but I wasn't the um, star of the play. Uh, okay. uh, it oh, was, wow. it, was one, it was one of like some yeah. bullshit. Um, also, wait, have you been in? Have have people got you to be in like their art films in, during school? Oh no, I didn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would oh I would kind of think about indulging some like being in an art film. That would be I, fun, I feel like I'm not gonna put I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm not, not gonna, gonna put my name on. I mean I'll be like I'll a, be naked. The man's gotta draw a line like that's, somewhere. That's usually what they want though. That yeah. is what they want. You know, I need five that's what every art film is, is like how naked how weirdly naked can I make this person in this weird lighting and setup? Uh, Maybe they're in a tub. So Maybe they're dumb. like like that's like Oh yeah, I, okay. Somebody send me cool student films that aren't just nudity, except maybe also send me the nudity ones. Just watch Die Hard. Like, don't watch. Just don't. I'm just watch gonna watch it. Cruel Intentions again. Actually, just don't watch art That's films. The most important. Except watch Great Gardens, and and Wild Things, and and Cape Fear, Scorsese. Cape oh Fear. hell yeah! yeah. yeah. We're talking Cape movies now. This is now a movie podcast. Uh, Emerson is actually uh, from the Emerson is the Cape Fear. And yeah. Emerson was designed just like Michael. Uh, Emerson was designed. Uh, based off of the character uh, bro Daenerys character from <laughs> that's true <clears throat> Emerson did you ever have a drawl Emerson fucking a draw? loves yeah. justice no my parents are from Long Island okay so they but, like wait, how'd, you, how'd you end up down south then oh uh, my grandparents moved okay. there Sick. after they retired and my parents were, and my mom was like I need help <laughs> can you okay, do that again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> absolutely not so we the, love uh, so mom. we moved to I love my mom. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout Diane. out Diane. <laughs> She's the best. Um, so we ended up in North Carolina, which was weird. They didn't. We didn't really like. Well, my mom didn't really want to integrate into Southern culture. Mm. For some reason. Yeah. She was like, she was like immigrant parents yeah. from Long Island. Snobby like, northerners. Yeah, she was like, "This is Yankee weird. Types. <laughs> it's weird, weird. I like the South. Yeah, 
I have, I have nothing but respect for South. Um, it what should we uh, another, another soda or is it or is it root beer time? Uh, no, one we have soda, we have one. No, we have two more soda. Wait, no. Okay, so we have one more. We're doing soda math. One more soda and then. Any more ice? Uh, and we're gonna do the honey cream next. We're somebody, gonna do the honey cream and then, the, right and then the root beer. The ice is, uh... It's sick. Yeah. Alright, okay, okay, what's so, up next? Yeah, and give us the intro. Uh, it's same, mine. exact same as, uh, the Americana. It's <clears throat> a honey cream soda. That sounds sick. And, uh, there's a description, so... Are you guys not gonna partake it's because it's not veg? <clears throat> what's it, not is, veg? Isn't honey not veg? That's a debate. That's a debate. We're not getting into it. So what I was trying to say is that the same level as the caffeine debate in Straight Edge? I know. I know Jana and Ian's take on this, but now I want to ask Matt Ryan. Yeah. Uh, so what do you? How do you feel about the ethicality of bug protein? Uh, if the thing is, is like sometimes they like fed. They're supposed to like. Wait, take the take the mic. Yeah. Uh, from from what I've researched, sometimes they're fed corn syrup in place of honey, and it's not like good for them, and it like bums them out. So, I, I depends on where it comes from. I've had. Honey but we're a talking few about times. bug protein. Yeah, we're talking about oh, bug eating protein. bugs. Like eating bugs is a form of protein. Oh yeah. I don't Are know. they sentient? It depends. Yeah. You know what I mean. I'm like a fly. Shit, like I'll get a fly out of my room. Because I mean, people involuntarily yeah. eat like eight spiders a year in sleep. Yeah. No, that, they don't. No, that's that's, and that's, 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 that's God. That. That's Make God's that plan. plan. I like that how you said so that too. The sand <laughs> <point. laughs> sometimes has like bugs and shit in it. I, feel like I don't know. I don't check always wash my on that one. so I probably like eat some like weird little guys every mm -hmm. once in a while. That's how you get beat up. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, yeah, what's it's this not like, like I'm gonna do that shit on honey purpose, cream, but right? Oh shit! I'm prepared for this to be very good. Um, I'm, I have high hopes for this one. I know a girl who is like really strange and eats her. She's got a bunch of lizards and she eats That's popcorn. Her lizards. <laughs> her lizards <laughs> like barbecue like tickets. Wait, say that she, again. she eats her what? I know a girl. Shout out Kelly Yoshi <laughs> fan club. Um, who is like really obsessed with lizards? She's a bunch of lizards. Oh, and she, I got you. She eats her lizards barbecue flavored crickets. Like she just like. Oh, lays so dead, well. like, I, I respect that. They're probably tasty. Them. Yeah, probably it's probably a great fine, snack. Yeah. Cheesy. They're probably cheap. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to. Eat ants. <laughs> That's the most thing. Is that be like? That's, is that I would eat ants, and they would say, "No, you won't." And I would eat them, mm. and that was like my party trick. That's our good shit. Kind of. Somebody get an ant. I will do it. I don't care. That yeah, check, check, so check the front good. porch. There's ants. It tastes like this is awesome. Like this, I like this. This soda is really good. It's a honey cream soda, and, and it's and, really and good. You, and you only get the lightest touch it's of honey, okay. but it's like beautiful. So is That's this so cream good. soda that we're tasting right yeah, now? It's bit, yeah, it's a cream soda. But it no, tastes it's just like classic cream soda. Can't no, okay, taste no. Honey. <laughs> I can't either. Take. Oh, yeah, have, you, have, you, have you sipped it all? Yes, I have sipped many sips. And it is just classic, delightful, smooth, Maybe. sweet cream soda, and okay. I'm loving it. Yeah, I love no, cream I'm, soda. I'm a big fan. This is this is one of the better sodas in recent memory. Um, I'm a fan. The Americana brand is a winner for me. Both the Huckleberry like and the Honey good. Cream. Similar Shout to out to Americana. Huh? Butterbeer? Oh. What about it? Very similar to it. Butterbeer. Honestly, honestly, I, honestly, I, I, honestly, I don't remember what that tastes like. It's yeah. more butterscotch. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. But it has a smooth. Smooth taste. <laughs> that smooth taste. It's okay. It's like cream of chicken soup. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Okay, so <laughs> I. Th I am not normally a cream soda fan. Yep. And this is all right. Okay. Yeah, good. I can't right. taste the honey, but it's all right. We we all did get small servings, so I I don't. Uh, I I understand why one might not taste the honey. Maybe I got a bigger sip. I think the ice yeah, really does affect it, though. Because if it was, yeah. like, just really cold, I feel like you'd be able to... Probably. If anyone wants to pay me, like, thousands of dollars to, like, make the soda podcast a professional podcast, and, like, we would figure out these problems, and um, the, everything would be optimal and scientific. But, yeah, we might be getting a little ice bias. It should be in a limb. Ice bias? You got a fridge, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, the fridge is really far away. The fridge is far away... We're usually smoking. 
there's lots of you know you have to consider ice you have to consider cups you have to yeah consider the time we spend talking before we drink it's True. there's I'm I'm telling as as a podcast producer as a media man, um, <laughs> hopefully not a what 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 was the list they made the the shitty men in media hopefully as oh not God, a shitty well, right. man in media let me tell you there there's a lot going on here as far as production and uh, it, it's okay though because it's all fun and I'm here with my pals drinking soda and it's a beautiful thing it's eating uh, taki eating. Kirby eating Taki without without the glove. Whoa. <laughs> Who was that? Taki? Who are you channeling? <laughs> Burger? <laughs> Burger? So, Wait, what's like that your, guy? Is that his like cute girl no. voice? No. Huh? Was, <laughs> holy holy shit. shit. No. No, he's not. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's not a little kid. He's 18 years old. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, What's his name? I said, has who? That one guy, Hezbollah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Up, this bull is the is the oh, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. him, dude. I, don't yeah, I yeah. don't know this man. He's is 18. He, is he the Dominican one? No. Oh no, I, I know, know who you're talking about. No, yeah, I love that, 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 that guy. Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Yeah, 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 it's like I am no fucking baby. Oh shit. Guys, I can't. I can't hear. I knew we. I knew we We're gonna replay the video. He's got monkeys. He has monkeys. We're gonna have to take a photo. Where's he from? Yeah, for real. Yeah, we can hit a halftime in a minute. Yeah, we, can, we, have, we only have two left, and we're at an hour. I think we're we're making fairly good time. We're making pretty good time, but we have we do have the taste test. We do have the it's taste. Be the longest episode on record. Yes, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, I no, mean, it's, it's the last one. We gotta give people <laughs> leave it uh, all on the field. It's the last game of the season. Leave it all to me. Yeah. Shout out, I Carly. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's so good. I haven't watched the new one yet. It's I'm, so I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing mixed not. things about it. It's so bad. Apparently, Gibby is. I think Gibby isn't oh involved God. because the product, like it's Dan Schneider, really. and like he thinks that he like he says but maybe that that, that the weird yeah, shit is real, say. like the pedo shit. Yeah, I like think it is. is. I'm it pretty sure. Be. No offense, but most like men in media are like uh, have psychological issues. Hey, uh, I already resent that remark. I resemble that remark. No, like, <laughs> no, but in a way that's that's harmful to uh, yeah. Okay, men and here's, here's the kid. He's eighteen. I haven't, I haven't seen this man. Not before. this. He's a Shall figure. Different. Oh no, this is the kid I'm talking about. <laughs> that kid's eighteen. Yes. Yeah, he's eighteen. Yeah. This one. Okay. No. Okay. How do you spell the username? Look at how he moves. Ian, Ian, give Wait, us, which one is it? Give us this, this kid's username. Well, that kid is 18. So yeah, people, he's 18. People, people at home, he's how can they find this? Ian, yeah, tell what's us. What's his name again? I don't know. Look, I don't care. Jenna, how do you, <laughs> how do you spell this man's username? Blinker. Oh, 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 I don't know. That's not his name. This is a repost. Okay, it's a repost. Yeah, Whatever. Like just, okay, uh, what's, well, what's it's next? It's not Hezbollah, so don't Google that. <laughs> well, Google oh, no, Hezbollah and see what's good. Kai. Khabib Hezbollah? Yeah, yeah, Khabib. Khabib. So his name is Hezbollah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is that, a, is that just a generic Khabib out there? Eat salad. Feel, yeah, those are Wait. base words probably. Okay. 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 Um, Could you tell me what that Look up him no. word means? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Kirby, what's what's next on the sodas? What's our next bet? Uh, well, I think I thought we were gonna break and then do the okay, great beers. Okay, we're gonna take a short break, which um, there will not be anything inserted for you listeners, so it doesn't matter. But then we're gonna do our uh, soda, our, our root beer blind taste test next. So uh, stick around. Yeah. You, I got those ceilings by Lil Wayne. Yeah. yeah. Tell your story, Kirby. One time, okay, so we're back and we're drinking root beer. One time at a party at the Slammer, this is a piece of soda knowledge. One time at a party at the Slammer. Have you dropped this before? 3628 wine. I drank 12, maybe. I think you have dropped this. I drank 12 two, two Mountain again. Dews over the course of like four hours. <laughs> That's so bad. That's that something I would do. That was when I was sober. That's why yeah. when, I, when I was sober, I wasn't really sober because I was still like destroying my body. Say that address one more time. 3628 wine. I used to live at 3636 wine. <gasps> Wow. Oh shit. Yeah. Thirty six twenty eight wine dot was where uh someone tried to kill me. Shout out to Max Van Tilburg, Ryland Duckworth, Joey Shrout, and Nathan Wolverton. Was there a name for your house? Shout out Ian Turpin. I don't think we had a name. Okay. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're doing a blind taste test of our first root beer of three with the three name brand root beers, Barks, A and W, uh, and Mugs, and we're we're giving it a sip right now. First Do you know time. what it is? Number it's one. not A and W for sure. Mm -hmm. No, it's not A and W. I'm I'm between Barks that's and Barks. Ma, and and yeah, Mugs. that's Barks. Baby. That's my yeah, favorite. Barks. Okay, we it okay. seems like the group agrees that it's Barks. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe except maybe we're all yeah, influencing each other into the thinking the wrong thing after one person said it. I was extremely it, influenced. Like I was effect. gonna say Mugs. Because yeah, I have no idea. Also, um, <laughs> but, but I'm second guessing myself now. But Mugs okay, I do beers. I do like this one, and it has a little. I feel like more kick to it than most root beers, which when we think this is Barks. Does Barks, so Barks has the kick. I think Barks has bite. Barks has bite. That's what they yeah, say. Yeah, because yeah. mug is kind okay. of Barks creamy. Yeah. I feel like Barks is the most distinguishable between the three. Agreed. So I feel like that's okay. going to be so the So we got this one out of the way. Easy one. one. So do so I, yeah, really? I think the spice pattern is more comprehensive. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, okay. Should we should we wait to learn? Okay, no. We Don't tell us so we can't rule any out in the future, you know? True. Right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Right. So bring. So Barks, though. I can't finish this. So yeah, yeah bring, bring the next. Uh, you poured too much. I can't finish that either. I know. Sorry, I gave it to drink. I'm too generous. I might don't worry. Yeah, yeah probably. Well, so generous. That's all I'm doing. Every, wait a second. We'll finish our drink. Oh yeah. Anybody have any extra shout-outs or topics they want to bring up right now while we I finish have, this I have like a soda. kind of funny soda thing. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, when I was like a very young child, and I'm the oldest, so that means that my brothers were very, very young. Um. And my parents had, like, just split up, and we would go stay at my dad's apartment. He would buy Coke Zero, and he would give, like, me and, like, my four-year-old brother Coke Zero, because he thought that Zero meant it also had zero caffeine. And then we would be, like, freaks, obviously, like, just, like, completely bouncing off the walls and, like... <laughs> just kidding. property damage? Yeah, like, literally, like, <laughs> in, in, like, in, like, a shitbox apartment, shout out Colonial Park, Wilmington, North Carolina... Um, yeah, and then one day he was like, wow, I found out that actually there is caffeine in this. <laughs> so then we weren't allowed to have it anymore. But there was like, there was like three months we were living with him, we would just drink like one after another and like be like psycho. So that's how Brian was like four years old. That's how every day with my, like when I would stay with my biological father on weekends and uh, every other week in the summer. Uh, like, I had soda sometimes with my mom, but, uh, at my dad's, like, I just, I ate what it, it, it was just no supervision, I ate whatever I wanted, and I would drink, like, two, like, I would get through, like, two 12-packs of soda between, like, Friday night to Sunday afternoon. It's so bad. And it, like, it really fucked up my brain, dude. When I drink, like, like, if I was to drink, like, a big cube of, like, of soda, I would be, like... I would like have a nervous breakdown. Probably. Like I like Wait, I, I, at what that's, point like, that's happened yeah. in the past year. I I, I drink a big cube of soda almost every day. Pissing lithium. Yeah, just just <laughs> yeah, just like just straight burning. Acidic piss. The other thing about that apartment is the like I can't do math. <laughs> All we have is Stilfers. If someone starts cooking a Stilfers lasagna, it makes me really sick. Bro, uh, the, the fucking... <laughs> the, the, fucking the, the fucking Red Baron French bread pizzas. Every <laughs> single fucking, oh, like... yeah. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> but so Stilfers, good. like, when I smell... That's, like, such a break room food, too. Like, you have to, yeah. like, you have to focus, like, be on the ball at work, and someone starts cooking a Stilfers lasagna, and it, like, sends you into a spiral. <laughs> Anyhow... <laughs> I, I kind of have one that kind of <laughs> kind of yeah, themed yeah. like this. My brother and ex -girl, his ex girlfriend used to always go to Chipotle and bring it home, and they'd also cook mm -hmm. garlic bread and eat garlic bread with the Chipotle. That sounds so fucking good. And I always thought it was really weird, but when I smell garlic bread, I always think of Chipotle. Have you seen Grandma's boy? Yeah, that's fucking shit. Yeah, it's like you, you got your wires yes. out on there, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Neil Dickass. <laughs> Who, oh, okay, and this is this is alluding to an upcoming bit. Um, I hope everybody is ready later. We might, this might be one of the final moments of podcast. Jason Shrout has prepared for us a top five Kansas City hardcore edge breaks of all time, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get to know these, and we're gonna learn learn some Kansas City hardcore history. Yeah. Put it on the books. 
We'll deliberate that. We'll also get we'll also get into what it means to break edge. Yeah. I used to be I used to be straight edge. I thought I was straight edge for like one year when I was like fourteen or fifteen and just getting into hardcore. I'm like I like all these bands and these bands are straight edge. I guess I have to be straight edge now. Except I kind of wanted to smoke weed with my friends when they were all trying weed for the first time around then. So and you they, did it? after after like a year of saying no, I was like, okay, all my friends are doing it and it looks kind of fun and I also like reggae music a lot for some reason so I'm going to smoke some weed and so you just said yes I, I said yes to drugs except I, that's really only one one of the only drugs I, I was offered, yeah, a, I was offered a popper just the other day and uh, guess what yeah, I what said drugs no have you done? yeah what drugs have you done um, I've, I don't think I've done anything that qualifies as hard drugs I don't know like have you taken psychedelics oh yeah, I mean, I've, yeah, yeah I've done shrooms and acid like, like last only, week? only only two times each. Two okay. times each. Yeah. So like liberally, um, or no, that's not Conserv- conservative. Conservatively, mm-hmm. in right. moderation. Jesus. Um. Interesting. So you've never. Mom and Dad, I love you. Yeah. You you did fine with me. Don't yeah, worry, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. Um. <laughs> What's the next group? Um, we, we all we all know Josh was gonna yeah, go to college instead of me. It's a, it's a reality. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's what's the next? Okay. Yeah. Bring us. Uh, we have all down no, okay. number one soda eight, root beer. Which hey, we take, you we take this back there. We, this we seem to agree that it was okay, You all said it was parts. Yeah. Whether whether this is a psyop or not, it's not the right word I didn't for know, it. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> More like a swag op. Judge. More like. Uh, fuck the ops. Fuck the ops. Yeah. Free my pops. Shout out Dolly World. Yo, Patrick in a fucking chicken costume now. Damn. Shut up, shut up, Patrick. Oh, uh, are they doing the panty raid? Uh, no, this isn't the panty raid. No, not at all. We're watching SpongeBob. Like, no, shout no, out like, to no, Health Inspector. No, like, is this like later season? Yeah. Okay, like kind yeah. of don't look or don't pay attention because it's a different color. Okay. I'm not looking. It's Everybody. We're gonna see the color in our cups though. So. It's true. <laughs> Well, I, well I, I I'll just put I'll colors. just put a really small amount. So I don't know. You have I don't no know idea what soda what is. What color it is? Holy shit! We gotta do it up to taste it. Not gonna work. <laughs> that's a good idea. Just only put a little bit in. Nobody well, look no, at the color. Well, no, that's like even more revealing. Actually, I, I, I still have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm looking straight at it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, are, are you sure it wasn't one of the cream sodas we put out there oh, by accident? It, yeah, this is cream soda. Oh, this is totally it looks like it. Are you sure? No yeah. way. Oh, we a- yeah, we accidentally yeah. bought a cream soda, so I had to go back and get a root beer. Okay, well, figure out. Well, you have to figure okay, out. Okay, well, what it it's. Uh, well. It's AW cream soda. I was, yeah, we, we accidentally. I accidentally. I was being. Cha- we went to Sunfresh, and I was, like, too busy chatting with Jason, and I accidentally bought I was, like, an AW tables. cream soda. Again. Um, so. This is AW cream soda that we're all just drinking for no reason. Yeah. And, uh, Damn. I mean, I mean it's a Kraft great. macaroni and cheese big cup. I'm about to get I you some in my job. <laughs> One of the microwavable macaroni um, it, Funny enough, though, I don't know. I don't have memories with AW cream soda. Good. And it's pretty decent. It's pretty solid. It's for a for a mass marketed cream soda, this is pretty decent. But, Yo, I mean, give me it's not cups crazy. because there's no way to do this without okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, Why don't we just I, do the I, eyes I, shut thing? I thought, the, the, I thought the method yeah, with so pulling off the label eyes shut. was working. Eyes shut. I don't know. <laughs> eyes wide <laughs> shut. It's going to take you 20 we're minutes to okay. take all these cups in there. Yeah, yeah that's true. We're doing alright. Emerson, we're going to get you tipped. After, we're going to tip you out after this. <laughs> Here's a tip. So we drink soda. Ha <laughs> Here's your tip. Um, nacho fries are back. Nacho fries are back. I got nacho fries last night. Was a big shout out to Taco Bell. That was a number one fast food. That kept me from puking while I was getting wine drunk. Some fries. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get. Okay, close your eyes. Everybody. Yeah. Close your eyes. I'll just share with yours. And hold your glass. Hope we don't spill anything. Damn, we got a hissa. A wicked hissa. Oh, who's 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 somebody's chiefing right now? Who? Yo, is that loud? I smell vape. Yeah, good lab pack smelling cat piss. Mmm, mm, that cat piss. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yo, I'm surprised I haven't heard anybody burp yet. 
Given what? Uh, actually, Emerson did burp. Oh, Emerson I've burped burp. a few times. Did you do? A, yes. Were they good burps? I'm kind of like They're a pretty... gaseous guy. I'm open. I'm down <laughs> for a <laughs> big burp. Gaseous guy. Damn, that sounds like an A and W pool. Do we? Has anything. everybody got their stuff yet? <laughs> no, I'm still. I'm still oh, waiting. I can't tell. I... You'll know when the uh, weight in your hand changes. Yeah. <laughs> I know what this uh, is. Uh oh, uh oh. Is that, oh, that's a mic. I won't pour something on it. Good? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got you got it. You looked at it? I didn't look I just looked at your time. Alright, I still closed. I can't tell. Ah, I pretend I you know what that is. It gives it up. It gives itself up. I pretend I do not see it. This is much. Can we open our eyes yet? Yeah, okay, we're we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We're poor to say so to every single time. Yeah, that's that mug. That'll be a good prank. As a former Taco Bell employee. This is definitely mug. Shout yeah, out to Pepsi. Creamy. Man, it's creamy like. I feel like if we actually wanted to be yeah. mega scientific, we would have marked down on a paper individually. I was thinking, and so that. we wouldn't have had like the group think uh, element. We kind of fucked this up. I haven't heard anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm still learning though. I'm having fun. Yeah, we're, we're like just fun learning about it here. So they're right. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually all geniuses, and everybody listening is a genius and uh, very hot. And a member of Mensa. And a member of Mensa. Yes. It, it, as my long as they're over 18. Yeah, Emerson's dog is a member of Mensa. Also, I've been my saying mom. that since I got here. You fuck Big Mensa. Yeah. You fuck Big Mensa. Yeah. 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 Probably yeah. not a member of Mensa, if you ask me. <laughs> Hasn't dropped anything worth listening to since uh, the internet tape, let's he's, be real. He's literally the black MG. Yeah, I'm, I'm wow. sad. <laughs> uh, he is. You know, fuck that dude. Uh, he, he, he does try to do the rock with stuff. gang vocals. What? A grand, again, a grand total of zero songs with gang vocals. Agreed. The internet tape was fine. Had a couple good songs. That was no, but he has that. That's the song, uh, "Gang with Me." That song's pretty good. I've never. Heard yeah. That song. Oh, also the "You Mad" with Kanye. That song slaps though. That's a late era Vic Mensa banger. It just sounds like a Yeezus B side, but it rocks. It's because Kanye, it's like Kanye. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Kanye just put his drip on it and let Vic Mensa have it. But you know, they're they're fellows Chicagoans, so you gotta do right by your city sometimes. I'm excited for Kanye's future. I I love him. There were a couple moments of the, the Donda like live stream that were solid. I just appreciate it. So I'm reason. I'm open to maybe Donda might It'll probably just be like the same amount of good as Ye, which is like whatever. But there's some good moments. I like his church thing. I like the minimalist. Like, I you know I did like his, I, I did like the gospel. Me too. Listen to it the other night. You are you are predisposed. But uh yeah, yeah I think gospel I'm music? Catholic. I love God. And ch- and I'm not Catholic, Kanye, but I do Chicago. love God. Yeah. <laughs> but we were both raised Catholic. Yeah, I was raised Catholic. Okay, well, um, <laughs> I guess, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, let's, uh, can somebody ice me, uh, right quick, and then we'll do our final root beer. We have, there's two mostly, more. There's two oh, more. There, are, there are two more, yes. Yeah. And then the reveal. We mostly agreed, I think this one is mugs. People will have to determine this. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What am I doing? Whoa, well, those shorts uh, are awesome. Grabbing the next those. bottle. Oh my god. Are those silk? Yeah. Those are pajamas. <laughs> yeah, pajamas. Pajamas are the best actual clothes, though. They were like. Where? Where? They were like. But a child that was paid fairly. They were. And it took a picture of a toy. The and like some um, shout out to <laughs> some Central America zoo. Hey, Kirby, can you serve me some uh, ice real quick? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ian, can you hand over the ice bag, please? Yeah. Unhand it. Unhand the ice. Pass bag. me the bag, Ian. Yeah, pass Ooh, the bag. Really cool. No, we're dripping. Yeah, all you of guys. It. Yeah, this is kind of crazy, guys. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh we sprung a leak in the bag. Pass right now. the bag of ice. Uh, okay, no. Okay, we, we should put it in the kitchen. Put it. Put it in the right side of the sink, oh, and then yeah. we'll each just dip our cups in it. Damn. Oh, yeah. now. Did that water get on the weed? On the weed? No, but I did just spill weed all over myself. But it's okay. Are we Krishna? Or something can happen. <laughs> Yeah, shout out, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Joseph. Shout out Ray Copper. Shout out to Barbara. 
Oh God. Barbara, you're feeling talkative now. Do you have anything to say? Barbara, closer to the mic. Oh yes. Speak up. Wait, what's on your mind? Barbara. No, that was Kirby, not Barbara. Barbara. Barbara, speak. Do you remember what's when Little B made that song Barbara. with his cat? Yeah. The <laughs> Kiki song? Yeah. Barbara has a cat? Yeah, he, he's trying he, to overstimulate like, her. He's like, the first, he's talking. the first cat to oh, there we ever go. rap on a track. Little B is it's the like, most nurturing. Go Kiki. Go Kiki. We got some ambient like, Barbara oh, happening right oh, now. Little B is the most nurturing rapper for sure. I don't know, I can't. You just have to look up Stunner Boy. Sell the uncovered. Everyone should look up Stunner Boy and follow his legacy. Awesome. He does the same thing every day. He goes to GameStop and films himself buying a game, and then goes to a dinner store and films himself. He like lives ground all day, but his routine is that he goes to GameStop and he's like, I'm rich as fuck. I was I was doing that for a minute. I was kind of try, I was trying as hard as I could to Groundhog's Day it, wear the same clothes, do the exact same thing every single day. Just try to make a year of my life pass as quickly as possible. That's like a way to make it go really slow. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. Gotta experiment. Damn, I gotta do this shit again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck. Well, when you don't have to make any decisions, uh, then, and also when you're just getting paralyzed high before you do anything. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, getting paralyzed high every day when you wake up is a really good way to do that because, like, even if you have a doctor's appointment, like, you won't go. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you'll never go to the doctor. Yeah. Or, like, here, let's see. I have to schedule all my doctor's appointments for, like, 4 p.m. for me to go. $29 a week, though. Dude, I should, you yeah. I shouldn't have to do anything before noon. I think that's fucking criminal. And I shouldn't have to do anything past 4.30 p.m. That's fucking criminal. Okay, uh, it sucks that m the, the majority of my day is spoken for. Emerson, do you want to grab us the next group here? Fucking hell. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, right? Yeah, I guess not. Was that wasn't serious. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Close your eyes. We will make this worth your while, Emerson, Close I promise. Your eyes. We're, we're going to do I something special for you. Close I don't know eyes. what it is yet. Okay. I don't mind doing this. We're close. We're, your eyes close. we're close. I'm looking down. Have a. Okay, this is the second to last oh, buddy. one. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's like, uh, mm. Oh, that's not a cup for soda, that's a cup full of ground weed. <laughs> oh, you didn't pour it in there, did you? Oh. No, I did, I'm mm. sorry. That good that root that good root beer and cush? That that good cush and root beer? Cush. That's A and W. See, I thought the last one was any day until I erased that mug. So. It still tastes like mug. No, it's no. sweeter. It's I'm like guess a yeah. I'm guessing this is A &W because it is sweeter, it's and it would sweeter. make sense to put it with an ice cream like like this for tastes a float. Like so and you go to A and W. Are we still, like still having our eyes shut or? It's that. It's no, that, you can. No, no yeah. It's that barrel aged vanilla they be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, because no, the, the, yeah. the label is That's a bunch of horse ass. That's that aged. A and W is like more literacy than. Yeah, no, mug and bars too. That's chemically accelerated uh, you go aging. To, you go to Long John Silver's to get the fish basket, then you get a, the oh my <laughs> God. beer from a &W. Yo, the other day I was craving fish. Well, really, I was just craving hush puppies. And it was like my second day with my new car. So I like I drove all the way out to Long John Silver's and it was fucking closed. Oh, well. <laughs> but I but want and I want what, what was the location? Miriam, Miriam. Dude, a bunch of them have closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean, I, mean, I just the brand, brand is not strong, strong right now. I think, I think that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Wait, and but have you been to the A and W Long John Silver's before? Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. It. The one the, there, the there, there used to be one by the AMC Thirty <laughs> in so like Olathe Oakland nice Park. I've, I've still been there like once or twice, no, but I think it's closed now, probably. Forty Highway in Sterling, like Kansas City. Oh, for real? Shout out to Forty Highway. 
<laughs> that shit is fucking reckless. Yeah, do you, do you guys have 40 highway stories? It sounds like you're passionate about it. <laughs> Getting chased? <laughs> by, by what? By civilians? By, by your demons? <laughs> Getting chased. <laughs> Jason, do you have 40 highway what stories? What do you, you think that was? Also, 71 South. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I love 71. That's Rescu- my favorite highway. Rescuing my somebody K-10's from the, one. rescuing somebody from being tied up in the back of a trunk on on the on the fucking shoulder of 71. Let's go. Let's do that. Yeah. Just like the baby. I, I hope you <laughs> don't don't mind having that, Bravo. We can go. We can move past that. Nobody knows who it is. is this okay. Open case? Nobody. <laughs> no, nobody will ever know who it is. Okay. If you want to call, if you want to reach the tips hotline, you can call um what one eight eight one six uh T I P S. Uh, uh, Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers. Moms against drunk driving. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. They I, talk about I, the I, they, they say I'm a they say I'm a cop, so I have to pretend to be a cop. You know, you have to. I you have to lean who into. Who says you're a cop? Uh, there's people out there. <laughs> that think you're a cop? Yeah. Why? Because uh, they don't understand me. Nobody understands anyone. That's what I'm saying. Every, everybody, 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 everybody thinks they understand people now that everybody's on social media, but we don't really know most people, I feel like. No, nobody did before. Yeah, it's just like, you think you yeah, know even now. Even less like, now. Wait. Yeah, and it's all... But that's why we podcast, baby, because we're making real connections with real people and enjoying real beverages. That, that's the sipping on some soda promise, and that's wh- that's why we do it, baby. Fucking let's Not fuck let's fucking drink another root beer. Let's go. What did you think that was? We said A W, right? I, I think yeah. we all yeah. said A W. A W. Okay. okay. I think it. Yeah, I think it was the A and W one. Because okay. it was sweet, like it would be in a float. All right, there's one more. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's hit it. Let's sit. Let's do it to it. Close your eyes. Mm. Hella tight. My eyes have never been more closed. <laughs> uh, All this soda makes me want to chain smoke. We're gonna. Have, I'm gonna have to snack. Find uh, like an, a substantial meal after this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking about macaroni. We keep going to talk about oh, I don't care. I this is trash. <laughs> this oh. is fucking terrible. Okay, so, um, we're guessing Matthew and I think Jason both have oh spoken out against is this. Is this the Australian this is, one? We're guessing yeah. this is the yeah, Australian one. Bilderberg. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. The this, Bilderberg. The, yeah, this is the Bilderberg. It tastes like Lipsterine and peanut butter whiskey. It tastes like someone so with tonsil cool. stones drinks some root beer. Oh, yeah, this is in my this, mouth. This, <laughs> no, this, this <laughs> tastes like two or three different shitty medicines mixed together. Let me taste it. Because really cool. they've all been bad. Ian, why so. did you bring this to us? It tastes like. Was, do you like so this? Yeah, Ian, pick up the microphone. Speak oh, for yourself. Oh, that's fucking so yeah, terrible. Dude, yeah, I bought this at so- Sunford. I knew and you liked soda. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, you're okay, so you, ha- you, you hadn't tried it before. I tried it right before I left the house and brought you your bottle. Okay. And then did, I did gave you? it to you, and you're like, "Yo, we should use this for podcast." Okay. Oh well, yeah, no, I, I was like, "Why not?" I, most yeah. sodas are decent, at least. And this did, one did, sadly did, is did, not did, decent. But yeah, yeah, you didn't you, like you tried it before so you brought you came here. Yeah, did, I have tried this before. What, what were your What were your immediate thoughts then? It's like vinegar. I was yeah. very yeah, it does. Like, surprised by it because I didn't think that it really <laughs> tasted like root beer. It's yeah, it's, 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 it's very yeah, pungent. Yeah. It's that it is. It's like kind of fucking. Yeah, Australia, what's your goddamn problem, you bunch of fucking freaks? Because <laughs> they're British. And uh, uh, very important, Barbara. Like Dave, Barbara is British. now eating some popcorn. The it's British are good. Oh, yeah, good. Got some audio. On yeah, British I'm trying to learn Scoo's the redneck British dialect. That's what they... How's it go? I don't know. I know like, it sounds like fucking, like... The the one like Chavs, the like fucking Chavs, Chavs the song. Disney movie about the Irish dude who like it like shrinks and he turns to a leprechaun and he has to like save the world or like a basketball game or something like that. Oh so, yeah, the, you know, the one with like, Lee's from Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, he Luck has like, the Irish. Fight, Luck <laughs> the That's Irish. a classic. I mean, I that shit rips. 
I was so, for a second I was getting that and like swim uh, the movie the thirteenth year or whatever where oh, like yeah. after five PM he turns into a fucking mermaid or something. Yeah. Oh I remember um, that. Oh and this, legit this also just tastes like it has alcohol in it, like it does. but it doesn't. It, does it? No. no. That's fucked up. Uh, so, if it tastes this bad, it should at least get me fucked up. So recap, what do you? What was the first? You tell the first one. Okay, okay, so we all hearts. we all kind of agreed that the first one was Barks, then the second one was Mugs, the third one was And W, and the most recent one is the Australian one, the Bunda. Okay, the so do I tell you now? Yes. Yes, Emerson okay. revealed to us if we were correct. Um, the first one was Barks. The first one was Barks, and then um, I gave you Mugs twice. In between, oh. in between, I pranked you. In what the? In uh, the what the what? I, that's why I said it tastes like yeah, mud. I never gave you. I never gave you A and W. But what about the wow. cream soda? Was that? That was A and W. There's no way that that last root beer wasn't mud. But it was A and W. Unopened in the bag. It's a different. So yeah, A and W is unopened in the bag. <laughs> Now I have a nervous oh, meltdown. It. Wow, psychology is crazy, bro. I can't this is, we this is cyborg. Yeah. Yeah. This is cyborg. I'm person is a genius. <laughs> I did say, I was like, yo, this tastes <laughs> like mug. Yeah. It tastes oh, like mug. Oh, shit. Yo. Bro. Wow. That's you were right. My boy is a that's, cobra. That's oh. wicked. Uh, is oh. that beer oh, oh, empty? No. I got that's you. fucked up. Yes. Sorry. Bro, you made everything with the chicken. Sorry, it was too easy. Damn. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, we're, we're, we're at 90 minutes now on our soda adventure. Um, I think we have two final uh, sodas. new sodas to try. Let's get this bitch rolling. Let's, let's get them popping. Because honestly, who cares what A&W beer tastes like? While, I, fine, while we distribute this last soda... Uh, Alright, there's two. Wait. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, Kirby. <laughs> Kirby, uh, oh, Kirby tell good. us what we're trying Sorry. here. This is not, this is not a blind taste. Fuck all this. So okay. Oh yeah, this is Ozark Mountain, and I wanted to say this. This one's from Branson. Ozark Mountain Bottle Works Butter Beer. It's butter okay. beer, and butter is an interesting flavor because mm. it's it a. Smell like butterscotch. It's butter. Um, <laughs> many don't know this, but the main ingredient in butter is uh, butter. I just want to. I just want to give a. I just want to give a major nod to the king of the Ozarks. Uh, Truck Stop Crystal, aka Meth Slut Mallory, aka Ethan Mallory, aka Ethan. Why, why does he get the shout out? Uh, cause he's he's from the Ozarks. He's from the Ozarks, and he's uh he's like uh he's an extremely prolific noise artist, and um you know official yeah. headquarters and and truck stop strangler truck stop real, uh, crystal real outsider art music. emo yeah emo fairy speed god um <laughs> he's just i mean he's just like this he's, smells he's demented. just demented he's he's a he's a de demented twin of mine he's a demon this is pretty good yeah it's, this this one's oh, really tasty it is Wait, so it, it's fun. quite yeah it's extremely <laughs> frothy and and uh, there's a lot of so foam going on. This is good, actually. Just, yeah, this is oh, super it would be like super really smooth, good super with... sweet, but like doesn't I overdo it. This is very excellent. <coughs> I mean, you like literally taste like scotch. It's, it's, like, it's like, oh wow. If I was outside and it was hot, it would make me really nauseous. Damn, it sounds yeah. like you have strong feelings. It's, Tell it's a winter good. dessert beer. Totally. I would, have, very good. I would have a warm cup of this after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I would yeah. I would have a warm cup of this after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Some shit you drink after you just snowboard. If, it, if any yeah. of the women out there want to serve a warm <laughs> cup of this to Kirby this is, after Thanksgiving, this, uh, this, hit him up. He's at Kirby Stiffler. This, this, uh... I think there's only one woman who should be doing that. Yeah, probably his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. shout out to <laughs> Um, this beer, uh... This beer, um... It screams wood panel living room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, we we love yeah. the Midwest. No, but also the Northwest. Yeah, cool the Midwest is the too. only real place on Earth. Yeah. It's also the fakest place on Earth. You're about to leave it. <laughs> yeah, this place is not real. I don't know. I have a love. Like a I'm, I'm from here, so I can't hate myself. I think it, I pass it to you, but I'll hit it. Okay. Um, Do you want any? Uh... 
I don't know. I don't hate the Midwest. I just like still don't I've understand just, it. I've just been here for too long. I don't we're all the I most normal people you'll ever meet. And There's we're cool not. And good. No, it's here. like very, very. In like a way that I am unaccustomed this, to. This do. place is like really fucking repressed. <laughs> like it's like extremely fucking. But repressed. then it's like everybody gets like super wasted and it comes out in like really extremely demonic ways. Is there yeah. more of this in the bottle? I want more. Yeah, this one. Let's go. Yeah, it's like it's really, really good. good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. This, this, this is what you call a double sip. Let's put yeah. it top of it. I'm it's fucking with it. Top me that's, some, yeah. that's something you drink with like, like some like spice like berry dessert. Mm, yeah. yeah. Wow. So parents. Right? We're doing parents. Yeah, no. Yeah. We, 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 we yes. do parents yeah. sometimes. Kirby will often that's tell so us about uh, alcohol mixers. Oh yeah, also. I tell you yeah. what this. Uh, yeah. Have what, any of the sodas we've done today? What type of, alcohol, would they make what type of liquor this soda would mask? What well, would you pair it with? Well, I don't drink brown liquor anymore because like it's I do not have damage to my brain. Um, and I I don't know. I just I can't drink whiskey. Anymore. Probably the, pe- the peanut butter whiskey, though. The, the peanut butter whiskey, it. honestly, yeah. Sounds the peanut dimension. butter whiskey is pretty good. It would taste like, um... it Because peanut butter whiskey, it, like... What it's is a it? distinct flavor like whiskey, but it doesn't really taste doesn't like whiskey. Taste it tastes like... Does it taste like peanut butter? Drink. Shout out to... Uh, I feel like that would fuck up your relationship with peanut butter if you drank too much. No, wine. because it doesn't taste enough like peanut butter either. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, like, kind of, like, less bad. Yeah, liquor kind of ruined my relationship with fruit. With wow. fruit, uh, yeah. that makes sense. I don't. I've never drank a, a bunch of. Beer. I mean, like I've just like I've consumed probably more limes, limes. in the past year of my life. Why was there like, a lime this thing whenever I moved in? <laughs> I I don't. Oh, I mean, I'll just with I'll just eat limes. <laughs> Because it was just fun. That was like the first thing so I saw. I, I like, yeah, it, it's <laughs> fucking it's horrible. horrible. You, just get, you just get sores on the inside of your mouth. Shout out like, to all the dentists who are listening to this and are really pissed off about how much soda we're drinking. Yeah, if you're listening you. to this fuck and my you're dentist. a dentist. Fuck my enamel. Dude, fucking, real. fucking, they, they took my, de- like, nobody told me my dentist was moving out of his current practice. And I just got some <laughs> random ass lady last time I went in there. I'm like. You don't know my teeth. Like, how the fuck are you going to be able to tell if there's a TMJ problem? Like, fuck this shit. I'm already, like, it's a, it's a very expensive dentistry. Also, my mom told me to go there, so that's where I go. And I have insurance, but it's, like, still, like, I feel like I'm being overcharged at some point. Sorry, I didn't just get that off. But otherwise, shout out to my good friends at Keith and Associates Dentistry on uh, Shine Mission Parkway. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got, like, my mom dated my orthodontist <laughs> and moved him in. That sounds like Williamsburg, North Carolina. Yeah, Cam, Cam, Cam's, mo- Cam's mom is a dental assistant. Williams 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 Shout out to Cam's mom. Yeah. Um, what else? I don't have I don't I don't have a dentist anymore. I've had the two cavities like fermented. Yeah, yeah, I'm shopping. I'm shopping dentist. Yeah, you'll right find a Pittsburgh yeah. dentist. Yeah. Barring an emergency. But I don't know why. Nobody I have a cavity. I take, like, I amazing care of my teeth. I brush my... I have, like, a $110 toothbrush. Wow. Yeah, I have a... I have a... What's it called? Sonicare? Yeah. Oh, Sonicare, yeah. yeah so it makes it so fun. And, okay, um... um I'm sorry, go. Your, your, no, your I'm just bragging about my dental hygiene. Yeah. And no. I still have cavities. <laughs> so off. it's, like, void and null. Yeah. No, don't listen to Emerson. No, really. It's awesome, though. Um, okay, okay, I feel like, okay, maybe before we do our final soda, which we'll be, we'll do it in kind of a, a, a big finale type way, but we'll, may, there, may, there maybe there'll be some stuff after that too still, but I think now would be a good time for those hoping to hear, um, Jason's top five Kansas City hard, Hardcore Edge Breaks. Uh, Jason, take it away. Uh, he's prepared a list on his phone, he's, he's pulling it up right now. <laughs> okay, so... When you, uh, when you yeah. asked me if I would do this, I thought really hard about who I'd put on it, but I also like had to think even harder because I don't care about who's in straight edge or not anymore. Yeah. <coughs> and, and, and I wanted and to you are, this... you are one time straight edge. Oh, uh, yeah. I had, uh, what, were, what were your years? What? Uh, 1995 to ni- uh, 2013. Amazing. What a run. Yeah, Longer than run. most, probably, Swag. right? Yeah. Wait, I, I, have a, I have a super cool question. Can you reclaim? Yeah, how do you feel about that? That's a loaded question. Okay, sorry. <laughs> some people say you can't. Some people say you can't. Okay. What? What's? Okay. You don't have a personal opinion, strong to either way. I no, I don't really care. I cared when I was straight edge. I probably would have been like, no, you can't reclaim. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, you don't have much say now. Yeah, I don't. If, if you were still straight edge, yeah. you would be able to make it. I just have other <laughs> things to worry about. Uh, but the yeah, thing no, is, what, is, and okay, can you, also, also shortly, sorry, can you tell us how you broke? What what your? Uh, I broke was. in December of 2013 on yeah. a Bloody Mary from the record bar, Bloody Mary bar. Hell yeah! Oh, oh, all you can drink Bloody Marys. Oh, Shout out to Steve to a and the record bar. Was any was there a band playing right? No, it was just the like, like, Sunday morning brunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. So so <laughs> at the time we were going there quite a bit and and uh, I was just drinking Virgin Bloody Marys because I like tomato juice and vegetable juice. <laughs> Someone pushed you. No, yeah. well, Shout I, out I, it, it had been like a, it had been a process for me, like thinking about it. Like, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but yeah. the first time I drank them with vodka in them, it was like, oh, I feel warm. <laughs> so not, Granted, yeah. I was 33 years old and I was drinking for the first time, really. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, but anyway, back to the list. Yes. Um, so when you asked me to do this, like I said, I, I I thought about it and I and I wanted to make it kind of relevant to. Uh, not only the people in attendance right now while we record this, but the people who are kind of around in the scene right now. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of people that I could have put on this list, and you guys would have just been hurry, hearing like John Doe. Like yeah, it doesn't matter. Because yeah. um, they're either moved away or they're older or whatever. So I, I, I made it um, cater to like people that you guys would probably be familiar with. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, outside of myself, because I would have given myself the number one edge break because. I had it. I had it probably longer than just about anybody, and I was older, uh, and I was the most surprising as break. But this isn't about me. So, uh, I have a tie for number five, and we're going down down from five to one. It's a tie between Matt Hickman, aka Meatball, yeah. and Taylor Paredes, oh, aka oh, oh, Taylor Kicked P. in fame. Yeah, Matt and Matt and Taylor were both in Kicked in. Uh, kicked, kicked in twenty eleven classes in session. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Uh, Taylor was also in Wild Man Wild. Matt was in uh, Harsh Reality when that was a thing. Sick ass band. Listen to those two um, demos. So the thing about Matt is, if you, if, if everybody who knows Matt, and, and all, all these people on, my, on this list are my friends, so I'm not talking shit. Matt's a shit bag in the best <laughs> way, and Breaking Edge just made that kind of magnify. I feel like okay, had he broke by the time Weekend Nachos played at the Sweat Lodge? Because I feel like I saw him at that show and he was acting maybe kind of weird. Like, was he fucked up at that show? I don't know, but he was the first one out of that group of, like, that... Yeah. When, when our first, group of first friends to go. back then, like, was, <laughs> was, like, a thing, he was kind of the first one out of everybody. So. Yeah, I'm sure he got shit on for that, right? Yeah. He, no? Yeah, he got, he got, you know... Yeah. Uh, I, I, remember, I remember him getting loving uh, physical abuse from Jesse Street <laughs> um, for, for, for breaking that. So. Shout out to the Street Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be talking about one of them here in a little bit. Um, and, and so, but yeah, number five is a tie with Matt and Taylor. Taylor, um, the thing about Taylor is he was pretty, he was pretty into straight edge. And um, I actually, side note, when he broke vegetarian, he was either vegan or vegetarian. I took him to Chipotle huh. and he got a steak burrito. So I, I was responsible for him to like double break veg. Yeah, yeah double broke. Uh, yeah, that was long before he broke straight edge. But when okay. he, when he, uh, you know, Taylor's like Taylor likes sports. Uh, Taylor like rekindled his love, or or I guess enhanced his love from Charlie Hooper's the bar when he broke edge. So I think he was just down yeah. to go get a beer. Can we get you an actual chair? This is ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm not. has been sitting on a tiny chair for Two the entirety hours. of this podcast. Oh, it's, a, it's, a it's a joke chair. It's a joke chair. It's a joke chair. It's like the it's like the rocking chair. In it's the like bathroom. a chair for ants. <laughs> when Kirby brought that in for you, I was like, Is somebody gonna sit in that? There's no way. Um, so humble. So yeah, you know Taylor just kind of the uh, the whole bar and sports thing was like yeah. um, I think what, hand in hand. Know, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so now we're down to number four, which is uh, Alex Tunks. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Alex. I don't really have a reason why he's on this list because it wasn't anything uh, out of the ordinary. Dude, was it wasn't anything like there's no funny story yeah. to it. Um, but I love Alex. He's yeah. one of my favorite people in the world. And I, I did not want to give him a shout out. So, uh, he's number four. Okay. Um, uh, number three would be Jesse Street, the elder of the Street Brothers. Uh, how, how many years apart are they? Uh, Jesse and I are born 1980, and then Dustin's probably like two or three years old. So, okay. Or two or three years younger, I mean. Okay. So I don't really know their age difference. I just know Jesse and I are like the same age pretty much. Okay. Um, 
So, yeah, Jesse at the time was like, I mean, Jesse and I were tight. He was like my best friend. Um, did, he was one, Did you feel betrayed? I was pretty bummed by when he your broke. Brother, your brother uh, and Edge? I, I straight up was, well, I was bummed when Jesse broke. Yeah. Um, and he, half these guys broke in like the same, well, not some of the other guys. Yeah, there was an era where They like happened. broke in like the same year. And so I was like, I was already kind of contemplating like how do I feel about being straight edge anymore. <laughs> And all them, all those guys broke, and I was like, "Fuck this!" That just like made me like nail to the X even more. So but, no, but but Tunks famously, we don't, we can't leave this out. People start breaking straight edge in Kansas City, and fucking Tunks believes like feels as though he's one of the final Kansas City edge men, and makes the the demo, the one man demo, last laugh. It's like <laughs> about the whole demo is about him still being straight edge, and like his friends. Are, aren't fucking straight anymore. Fuck them. He's gonna. Right. He's, he's gonna, gonna have the last lap. Swatch. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, we love yeah, the swatch. swatch. Yeah, dude. I like. Would it be fucked up if I wore a swatch? I feel like I'm just gonna buy a swatch at some point. Why is it called a swatch? Swatch is the brand. They made them. And they made them in the '80s. They made the X swatch. Yeah, and, yeah. And all the youth crew guys. I know like, swatch oh, was shit. like. Oh, it's got an X on it. Dude, they look they sick as hell. Yeah, I don't want to wear one. I'm, I'm not a watch guy. I like the Olympics cool. ones. Yeah, yeah those are. Wait, sick. have you have you never owned one? I've never owned a snow because no, I was never a watch guy. I do have a stripe watch. Yeah, I've never been a watch guy either. Uh, they, I don't. It was gifted to me or something at some point, but I, I don't. I hate watches. I don't like wearing anything on my wrist. If I if I feel like if I wore a watch, I would have to be much more accountable for knowing what time it is. <laughs> that's I, right. I don't, <laughs> that's true. I don't desire. I don't desire oh, sorry, that. I was late. I don't have a watch to any extent. <laughs> just yeah, has an X watch. Just <laughs> draws an X on the wrist. <laughs> like yeah, I don't. I, it's straight edge time. Yeah, Especially now, if, if like... If, <laughs> it's I mean, always again, time to not there's do people who wear, They wear watches and they're like, it's a fashion thing yeah. or whatever. It's but like, so using one to tell time, we all have phones oh, in our pockets yeah. that have clocks on them. So there's yeah. no point really anymore. Oh my god. It used yeah. to be a good excuse, though. Yes. Man, I, I miss the old days when you could not wear a watch and say, oh, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm just understanding. eBay. eBay's so fucking funny. Hey, uh, guys, listen to Jason. He, he, Yo, he, no, I, you guys don't have to listen to me. I, just, I don't want to interrupt <laughs> No, we're not. I'm, like, looking at swatches on eBay now. Oh, uh, sick. <laughs> I, I, yeah, how, how we low? found an Olympics one. It's sick. No, that one was, that was, like, graphic. Now I'm curious. I'm going to get on Depop while Jason tells the next story. Uh, so, yeah, where was I? Jesse. So, yeah, Jesse was, you know, Jesse was my dude. What, I still love Jesse. What did he drink and, like, where and when? Do you know? I, I don't know. But Jesse was, like, really into craft beer. <laughs> he, he may still be, I don't know, but no, I always Jesse see, let us know. Hit I'm, the uh, at shuttlecock.com. Yeah, no, like no, because fucking, I think all of his Instagram posts are either just like a craft beer or like a record he's listening to. No, that's Dustin. That's his brother. Oh, oh, Dustin's yeah. posts are like that. I, I love that style of posting though. Like, shout out to you, Dustin. Yeah. Uh, I aspire to like own the like he, he has like lots of like dark wood furniture and like is always posting his records oh, yeah. and his like draft beers and like I'll, I'll just do that with soda stuff but like yeah. that's how my instagram should should look one day yeah yeah, yeah. for sure is it like no, Jesse's ornate like, furniture or like no it's just modern? pretty just standard modern like dark hardwood like i don't know that's i, yeah, I yeah. that's my style i like yeah. black everything i like clashing i'm like really into clashing that's fucked up. Barbara's got something to say. Barbara. Barbara. Now you're really good at it. Yeah. Barbara. Well, because I, I have a... Do you like wearing swatches? She she we should get her a watch. A swatch collar. She does it. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. she's good. Whoa. Look at the time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, you have to take her up every yeah. time you want to the time. You should get, get her some... Get her a hard jewelry chain for, chain. for your cat. I was going to say, I guess all animals are straight edge, but I think somehow my dog is... Not straight edge, like she is like an inner reserve of something. Wait, animals so that, can't, be, so that animals one can't be straight edge, dude. Why can't they be straight edge? Because edged? straight edge is a, is a choice. <laughs> dude, it's it's a a no, but some some animals like drink fermented Simple like wines and from shit. Drugs, alcohol, like, tobacco, drink fermented fruits. Well, yeah, 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 animals get fucked up on fermented fruits all the time, yeah, right? That's yeah. true. Uh, well, so actually, also now. like, <laughs> never mind. When I when I would get like really drunk, I'll do the cup out. She'd be like. <laughs> yeah. Mason, yeah, no, so, I Mason Mason will dick that shit. Yeah. No, I feel like she would do it if she All right, are we ready for number two? Yes. yes. Uh, I don't know if anybody in this room, I'm sure Aaron knows him, uh, Dustin Albright. Yeah. 
Dustin. Uh, he played Rose. in uh, Renouncer. Yeah, he, he Renouncer. Good, and good ass metalcore band. He's in April Mist now. Oh really? Uh, he he's he was in back uh, back in the day. He was in Eyes of the Betrayer, which is like a pretty known metalcore band here. Uh, he he played play, play, play in, play in the Torion, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been around a long time. He's one of my best friends. Uh, we were roommates at one time. Uh, he, he was straight edge for a long time, and then. I, my notes for him in here are, did it even happen? Because, like, there's been, like, this, like, maybe joking about Breaking Edge, and nobody's actually seen him drink anything, <laughs> but, like, he's not straight edging him, so it's, like, Question it's mark. a mystery. Yeah. Um, so I, Dustin, I think, get in contact with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to have a beer with Dustin because I need concrete proof. Maybe he, like, smokes weed before the edge. I don't, I don't see him as a smoke weed guy. You know yeah, but, I mean? like, but people who aren't, like, smoke weed people will be, like, will, like, pack a bowl for a bit and hit it, like, one time and be, like, oh, and put on, like, <laughs> 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 and put on, like, <laughs> like <laughs> ambient forest places, and that's, like, a good, like, and, like time maybe, maybe that, that, like, their doctor recommended it or something, something. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. as, as, like, a smart, like, older Listen friend to, like, type. Brian Eno Airplane, yeah. or Airport, yeah, yeah, that airport one. Too. I hate Brian Sick. Now. So shout shout out to Dustin. Shout out you to Dustin. Right. Right. Oh. Love you, bro. Love okay, you, number one edge break. Oh my gosh. Drum roll. Shit. Dylan Bendetti. Dylan. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I like I. Who's that's that? So, wa- that's so wild edge? to me that like yeah I, yeah I I also thought was he straight edge? <laughs> uh, Kirby Dylan has he's a he's a drummer uh, and a bass player. He plays bass. He played bass in Spine before Caution quit. Now he plays drums again. But he played drums. In, he played drums in No Class. No class. He plays in Inner Altar. Inner Altar. Uh, Keith Mountain. Inner Altar. Keith, uh, drums, Keith Mountain. Yeah. In no Class. Uh, he was Shit. in. He was in. He played guitar in my old band Black Mark, Sick. which was crew. Oh track. yeah, which track? Yeah, crew tracks. Uh, yeah, with the Orange Soda tape. Yeah, yeah. I was on the the wrecked. Orange Soda tape was like the, the first incarnation of the band. And yeah. Then, yeah. The, the second lineup was like. Who, the, wait, who drummed on the other one? Uh, Dylan. Okay. Dylan. So Dylan moved the second guitar, and then I joined. Okay. Sick. Uh, but Dylan, the reason I picked Dylan for this is because, you know, it's not like his, his, uh, his straight edge commitment was like stronger than anybody's or his time involved was any, is any longer, but he might as well be on TV. He has so many fucking hilarious characters that like have to do with beer and like maybe, I don't know if he smokes weed still or whatever, but like. Yeah, just he's like his, Mary Birthmon. That's Mary, what he yeah, says his, to his, you like, on your Jamaican, birthday. <laughs> his Jamaican speech, his fucking like redneck. He'll say, he'll say praise Jaw also. Red, redneck slash like whatever dude that he like portrays, but I feel like it's kind of like him really. Yeah, no, it's like the, the, the forklift uh, operator <laughs> yeah. uh, accent that he Isn't puts he on. like New York too or something? Yeah, he's, he's from uh, <laughs> Troy, New York, which yeah, is outside of Albany. Good. That rocks. Uh, Troy Core. No, I'm, I'm Troy sure Core. he's absorbed a lot of, like, working class culture, like, through, all, I guess, all of his, much of his living experience, I would guess then, right? Um, he, he probably knows that shit pretty well. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. You know, I don't... <laughs> There's I don't, definitely working class people in New York. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, but it's... Yeah, I mean, Troy is definitely talking about Albany, though, so, like, kind of, kind of white trash, like, working class. Yeah. Yeah, but Dil- Dylan is not like his like, parents are not white trash. Super, it's oh, it's okay. not like it's not Sick. like a real thing that he's white trash. And then he just like <laughs> has uh, taken this like character and ran with it. And I think he's fucking hilarious. Dylan, we're him. calling you out right now for a uh, uh, stolen valor, working class uh, appropriation. <laughs> fuck you! You're, if I see you at a show, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You're cool. I like you. Uh, I like your bands. Dylan's great. You're, you're a cool, funny guy. He's hilarious. He's one of the funniest people I know, and uh, I haven't seen him in a little bit. So, um, Dylan, this is uh, this is a little message to you. Let's this one's for you. Baby. Let's get together. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, Amazing. that's my top five. Yeah, that's it. As far as these, this is kind of more like yeah. 2010 to now. Yeah. Do you have any any bonus boys or any bonus remarks or like straight edge stories you've heard over the years that um, would be good to share? Yeah, I mean, I, I was, uh, cannot confirm nor deny that I was there, but there was a uh, straight-edge dude from Kansas City who had a hate read show in 2000 or 2001 at the Bottleneck. Um, there was a fight with some, with some like, random, like, bro new metal guys, because this, this was in hate read, like, had a crossed fan base already. Uh-huh. And they had some, like, hate new metal band on tour with them, and uh, a guy got cut. 
in the face of the bottle in a fight outside of the show. Shit. Nice. Uh, with a beer bottle. Oh, by a straight edge guy. Oh, um, The bottleneck. You could yeah. Uh, this was, when the bottleneck, um, right now I think there's like a parking lot across the street, but it used to be just a field. <laughs> so that's where we met these guys to like, uh, I mean, they met. Like I said, I came out to confirm more than I was there. Um, yeah, so that was kind of weird. Not, not really that cool, you know? Like, that's not how I would have wanted that to go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just lots of uh, lots of friends over the years that were straight edge and, and that uh, are no longer. And uh, salute to the fallen soldiers. Yeah, yeah, a lot, lot of good people out there, whether they're straight edge or not. And uh, like I said, I don't really care this, you know, about this that much anymore because I'm not straight edge either anymore. But uh, you know, like I said, when you tasked me to do yeah, this, I, felt I, like I thought it was you, a fun idea. You, yeah, no, and I, a way to give shout out to people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they've earned their stripes. I don't even know that there's that many straight edge people left. That's what we should yeah, talk about. Yeah, it's funny. No, yeah. Antonio. I, I, Antonio. Max Cheney is still straight edge, I think. Couldn't tell you, honestly. Uh, Daniel more. Evans. Uh, mm-hmm. Neil Humans. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, really? I think there's like... Oh, yeah, Ryland, but Ryland, I'm, sure, I'm sure there are like some teenagers like that are just about to start coming to shows that just started coming to shows. Like, there's I, there were like so many. Tyler Snow. Oh, Tyler is, yeah. Shout out to Tyler. How do we make straight edge cool again? Uh, yeah, buy a, we need I'm, to buy I'm and distribute to, as many. Because that'll be the day. We need to buy and distribute as many swatches travel. as we can. I'm tired of all these zanned out pigs. Yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. Hard, hard I want the return of this like hippies. Yeah. I have a lot of friends in other states. Like I, uh, you know, I play in trial. Yeah, periodically yeah, over so the years. Fucking good, dude. Uh, everyone in that band is straight edge, and everyone in that band is other than one guy is older than me. Are so, any like, of the songs about it? Oh, shout out to Ricky Reyes. Ricky Reyes. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, what'd you say? Yeah, does, does Trial have songs about being straight edge, though? Uh, yeah, there's like one, <laughs> maybe two from their first what, record. Waiting for you to get called out for, for filling in nah, in a straight like, edge band. No, nah, I don't think they care. That. I mean, yeah, no. the first time I played with them, I was still straight edge, but... Or, uh, the last, the last thing I did. You're still, a, you're, an, you're an ally of the edge, you could say. Yeah, or, yeah. I have, uh, I have a lot of love for straight edge. I, it meant a lot to me when I was straight edge, and uh, you know, I still have the tattoo on my leg. Oh, uh, so what's the set? Was the design? Is it just an X? It's three X's made out of stones, and it says "Straight Edge, No Compromise." So it's a, it's derived from a Throwdown song, like old Throwdown before they were. One can say you compromised, I guess. I, yeah, I was. I, I made that joke before. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Oh. But yeah, no, that's... Sure, uh, I'm sure you get that a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good one. It's a good joke. <laughs> okay, so do we want to try our last soda, Kirby? Yeah, hang on. I got Takis on my fingers. Wait. Um, <laughs> you going raw dog again, dude? He, he is raw dogging it. Do you with guys... Takis. Do you know the... I think it was like a sort of... I don't know how serious they were, but the... The Florida Hardcore Band Uzi Kids... No, I'm not like familiar. Zach. Oh, well, they made these shirts, and it was like, straight edge, if you're not now, then you never were. Oh, yeah, that's a popular catchphrase. Kids, yeah. yeah. Um, and they, like, all do it. Yeah, sick. Yeah. Wait, dude, wait, were, were they the ones that coined that? I don't know where that was coined. No. No. Okay. That's an old phrase. Um, in fact, I have friends from California that, from when I time out there, that... They're like, I love you, dude, but you were never straight edge if you're not if you're not still. I'm Amazing. like, yeah. I guess if that's also, how you feel about it. Also but... sick that like other like forty year olds like are serious <laughs> about it. Right, yeah. No, that's the thing, is like Kansas City's got a lot of um, bro, people that used to be straight edge. My phone charger is broken. There's a lot of a lot of older people still holding it down in other places. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. I don't like I said, I it, it meant a lot to me when I was into it and I've never talked shit on it and yeah, I never no. will. I've never it's, it's, on it. It's a, a it mostly just, positive lifestyle. I found choice. that I was a better person after I broke edge. Mm. And, and yeah, I, me I too. Well <laughs> actually and it wasn't even because I was drinking or anything. It was just because I, I had this Yeah, there thing, was less tension. Th- yeah, tension in my own personality and in my own yeah. head that was like mm. causing me to be like uptight and I've chilled out a lot in the what you know, the eight or 10, whatever, how many years it's been. Jason, so, you're so fucking chill. Breaking Edge was, Breaking Edge was, uh, the only way, uh, when I, whenever I broke Edge, uh, formally, in, like, 2016. Yeah, what, when did you, what were your years? What did you? Oh, uh, 
January 31st, 2012 to January 31st, 2016. Exactly four years. That's, recent. That's pretty recent. Yeah. It was, uh, it was the only way that I was able to uh, gain any type of traction or control over uh, my mental health. Uh, was by smoking weed or drinking a beer. Yep. And if I wouldn't have done that, uh, oh, well, like, I, I, I broke edge initially because KCAI told me, I broke edge initially in 2016 because KCAI told me a couple days before uh, the beginning of the uh, spring semester that, like, I wasn't, like, I wasn't going to be able to pay for it, uh, and they, like, they, the, the lady pretty much told me to give up, like, trying, because she didn't want to see me back in her office again, uh, and so That's they... really fucked up. Yeah, no, it is extremely she, she fucked up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I wasn't even, that's not even close to the worst thing of fucking... Anyways, um, and so that night I was like, well, fuck it. <laughs> so I had a beer and I smoked a joint, and then, uh, so that's why I started, but then I, like, ultimately it's because, like, I was fucking losing my mind sober. Hey, you know what? Some people it works out for, some people it's good for you, some people it's not. I'm sure. That's, that's what I learned, I think, as I got older. It was, like, not everybody's the same, you know, when you're yeah. in your... Like, straight up brain chemistry. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I never, you know, like I said, there were people sometimes that I got bombed when they broke, but I, I never let it affect me too much because... It, it had no effect on what I was doing. Yeah. You know, so I outlasted several waves of edge breaks, and finally, when my time came, it was time. You know. So. To uh, to quote the great Blue Face, uh, "Don't worry about what I'm doing." That's true. true. That's 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 facts. I think I'll probably go back. I'll I'll probably go back to being. I guess you can't. I don't know. If Cal- California reclaim. Edge. You know uh, what? Some people say you can't. No, I don't want to. You want to reclaim? You reclaim. I right? can't do <laughs> drugs anymore. <laughs> no, or drink, no. I can't do it anymore. So probably the next three years. Yeah, and you're you're, you're just you're drink grooming. soda, man. Yeah, Sip drink soda. It's good. It's good. Soda. Drink soda. Soda. That's the moral of the That's the meaning of things. It improves it improves your quality of life. Therefore, it is good for you. I'm liking being sober right now because I'm like resetting and processing like the last two years since I moved here because I was like essentially mostly drunk. Since I've moved here, so the past six, seven months have been good for, like, uh, integrating my experiences rather than just, like, continuing to, like, unconsciously move forward, sort of, without integrating your map your shit out sometimes, and sometimes that takes being sober. But it's not something I'm, I'm I'm not, like, putting pressure on myself to, like, commit to anything. It's just, like, working right now for me, for what I'm doing. I'm definitely more productive. Yeah, I'm sure. I gotta say that most of the time when I drink, I just get tired. Yeah, honestly, most of the shit you know, that I do that's is that's because what, I want to go to sleep. I mean, I'm normally like, I'll drink whatever. I, I yeah, like yeah. beer, I like I really like whiskey coke. I okay. like, uh, and whiskey makes you tired. Oh, shit, we gotta yeah, do the... Sometimes. No, you know, it's, it's got sugar in it. That shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does not make me tired. I think it's because I'm old. There, there's like a... That, that's Maybe. Wait, what are we doing? Fireworks? So, sometimes I... Did we drink the last? We didn't even drink the last drink. Oh no! Yeah. No, we haven't even uh, fucking sir, talked uh, about it. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Is I'll, it, is I'll introduce this next soda. Uh, we're uh, um, we're just shooting shit wine now. Wine makes me tired, but I used to like I during quarantine I got to the point where I was like drinking a double bottle by myself like one day of wine of like Merlot. That's like Jeez. demented, demented. And then I was like on this like really like horrible like like evil vibe of like I like barely left my room but then when I would leave my room <laughs> I'd like show up unannounced uh like super drunk like with my pit bull puppy <laughs> just bad vibes like if for example I have no I don't anymore we drank it last weekend I had a bottle of whiskey in our cabinet that like somebody gave me on my birthday on Halloween yeah and we just drank it yeah like we didn't know my my girlfriend's brother came down and me and him and his son, her her nephew, drank two bottles one night, and but that's like 
that bottle was sitting in my cabinet right. up yeah. since October. So, like, I don't drink that often. Uh, there's been times when I did um, drink drink more often, but mm-hmm. it's just, like I said, it's it's normally just, like, makes me tired, and then the next day I'm just worthless, so. Oh, uh, this is a personal question, but I'm going to ask it, and you don't have to answer, but do a lot of the people that I know that claim the edge, like, mm-hmm. grew up around around addiction yeah. or had, like, parents that were addicts, so was that the case for you? Um, I mean, there's definitely people in my family that, that were like heavy drinkers, Mm -hmm. um, but they were like people that I wasn't around a lot. Um, my dad would, would, I guess probably had something to do with my dad and my mom. Didn't have a great marriage, but my dad would like not drink and then like they'd get in a fight and he'd go out for three days and drink and come home and then come back. Do you think that, like... And I'm not saying that, like, as a, it's, not, it's not something he did all the time, but like, mm-hmm. I think sometimes you just need to get away from her. Yeah. But, so I don't know if, you know, I mean, I, he had to quit drinking, yeah. you know, later in life, like, totally. Mm-hmm. So, I, I maybe he had a problem with it, but it, was, it wasn't anything that that I was, um, maybe influenced me at the beginning, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I know when I turned straight edge when I was young, it was like... I hated cigarettes. I mean, I okay. never tried cigarettes. I, I thought drugs were dumb, I and I was like, I'm not going to drink. Since I was born. Yeah. And uh, so it was something I latched onto because I already felt that way about it. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I, there's got to be some sort of, like, subconscious thing that I yeah. maybe experienced or that I don't remember well, do you that think had something to do with it. It was but, because, like, you, even, <clears throat> even drinking, which you had the least strong feelings about, or, like, as you described, you kind of, like, attached the memory of it, of, like, it having to do with your parents' conflict, so it's just, like, inherently... Yeah, maybe. A negative Yeah, experience. could have been. Yeah. I mean, I was stuff, wondering. that stuff didn't... My parents, like... <laughs> we're getting deep. My parents probably shouldn't have stayed married as long as they did, so mm-hmm. that's another story, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's probably something in there that has to do with that, but... Part of it, too, was just that I felt, I felt that way, and then I latched on to, like... You know, people felt like I did, and they were making fucking I'll, I'll do awesome aggressive music while you're about it. So that's yeah. what, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. cool, this is like what I'm into, and there's a soundtrack to it, mm-hmm. you know, so. And all, all my best boys are, 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 are claiming edge. They're, well, they're, that's the thing. Exes, the exes look cool, I, and the merch I, is cool, the music, <laughs> some some of it's cool. Um, you gotta, fucking, you gotta think, I'm old enough to where, like, I existed as a teenager in high school and stuff without social, there was no internet yeah. really at all, yeah. I mean. I had one friend that had AOL dial-up. Um, so there wasn't a lot of, like, people didn't learn about stuff from, like, you know, people outside of their own bubble. Right. Yeah. But I somehow did, and I was the only kid in my high school, I think, that was very were, were you getting, like, were you, so, like, you ended up at shows, and were you, did you, like, were zines important to, like, your straight yeah. edge? Um, yeah, for sure, because I had, um, so n- there's a guy named Nick Owen, shout out to Nick Owen, who owns Escape Escape. Board shop oh, so Dan ask you. Well, Dan, you know, did Second Nature Records, and, and then Dan, oh, Dan, his, Dan, Dan Dan owns Escapist, but also did Second Nature. Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah. Okay, great, awesome. Yeah, and he did a zine in the nineties. Called... Okay, for anyone listening, they put out Coalesce and Casket Lottery. Oh yeah, like a ton of stuff. Awesome um, records from Kansas City nineties, two thousands. Yeah, like what? Post hardcore, yeah, metalcore, some hardcore Rockboard stuff, some Rocky Bottle solo stuff, uh, Casket Lottery, Coalesce, maybe um, maybe Giant Share. Did they? No. Nope. Maybe Giants Cheer, Boys Life? Any of those things, maybe? No, um, that was like... Okay. I mean, that was around the time he started doing records, I think. But, yeah. Um, but what I was going to say is, yeah. Nick Owen, who is one of the other... He's the other owner of yeah. Escapist, and he runs the least other shop out there. He was actually working... I worked at High V, like I said earlier tonight. Uh, as a kid, in high school, I worked at High V in Blue Springs, and Nick worked there, too. And Nick and I got to talking about music one day, and I was into, like... You know, like Pennywise and Sick of It All and Strife and like kind of the more like on the surface bands. And well, he started giving more bands. And he, so he was like on, he was like part of the quote unquote staff of. Dan had a, a zine called Second Nature Fanzine as well. Um, and so Nick would like write reviews or like t- t- he did photography. Yeah, or have they done like an thing. anthology or anything? That would no. be sick. I would, I would love to see I'm on the lookout. Like I still have like I've had to rebuy because I had those I had those things like mm-hmm. cut up and stuck to my wall in high school. Yeah. I've rebought like half of. There was only ten I think, okay. and I have six of them. Uh, 
shuttlecock. That, that should be the first shuttlecock press project, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I no, it's, these, these zines are, are like, these, these zines were my Bible, and that's how I found out about a lot of shit, but, but that's kind of, like, Nick was like, Cause you guys talking we, about music, and he was like, hey, you like hardcore? I like it. He's like, have you ever heard of this band and this band? And I'm like, no, I haven't heard those guys yet. And so he started giving me music. Yeah. Like, he was doing reviews and stuff for it, so he started... Like adding to the stuff that I already knew about, he was like adding to it. So he he's the one that introduced me to like Unbroken and like some of the bands that like I mean Unbroken was a big deal when they existed, but like some of the more bands that Epitaph, well, Victory Records kind of kid wouldn't have. Okay, and maybe maybe we would have discussed this on your Shuttlecock podcast appearance, but do you, what was again the name of the Straight Edge band that Sean Ingram did? Do you know? You have to oh, know it was a. Uh, uh, they, they put out, like, one record. Yeah, or, uh... And I should know this, because it was in this uh, fanzine that I got that was all about that, but it, I have the 7-inch. That's what yeah, I have the 7-inch, too, like, the yellow one. Oh, fuck. Is it... it, it it's, a, it's like a guy... I'll find this with out. With the X like, Is it release? No. It, mm. Or, uh, Restrain. Restrain, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, know why I blanked on that. I don't know if I've even listened to that yet, but I need to. Uh, shout out to Sean for sponsoring uh, the magazine with Blue Collar Press and Merch Table. That's a cool shit. A shout out to Hazel. You rock. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, shout out, shout out to Sean for sure. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was kind of my, you know, like what would have been an older figure helping me out. Yeah. Because no one's like, like the OG, I mean, the big I, Dude, I grew up in Blue Springs in the suburbs. Like, there wasn't anybody out there like that was like in my school going like, hey, you know what Straight Edge is? Or have you ever heard of you know, Youth of today. insert band yeah. here. Like, it's just like, that wasn't the thing, so. Um, youth of, youth of, like, it was like, pretty much straight up, like, Minor Threat, Youth of Today, and Girl Biscuits were like, the three, like, bands I was like, a huge fan of when I listened to Straight Edge. I didn't even like, get all that deep into the shit either. Like, I in the one, care one or two years later. that I considered myself that. Or I got into Straight Edge through Earth Crisis. Yeah. So, that like, rocks. Minor Threat and Youth of Today and Gorilla Biscuits, like, weren't even in my radar until, like, uh, like 1998. I've watched the most ridiculous Earth Crisis set. I don't remember. Like, somebody basically just fucking got, like, like a brawl happened in the middle of this Earth Crisis set somewhere in the Northeast, like, back in the 90s. And it's an insanely fun video to watch. So, I, I'll have to find out what that is and post that to my Twitter or something, because... That is worth watching for any fan of uh, metalcore, maybe hardcore or uh, straight edge stuff. There was at my at my uh, best friend who passed away. Her benefit show or her recurring the second one mm. for her family um, it was like a hardcore fest, and they some band from New York like pulled a gun on people in the parking lot. Shit. And then, uh, do you know who tour- uh, Tourniquet is? Mm, oh yeah. Uh, Chris from yeah, little Chris. Yeah, Chris was like swinging on the lights and shit and like breaking stuff. So they were like, we can't have this anymore. Oh, like, this place up. is for my like sixteen year old oh. best friend. But people went crazy for her. I'm trying to find the yeah. Well, I think Advent came. I'm not. I'm not Advent from North Carolina. Yeah. 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 North Carolina. Let me find. Really but it was like it ended up getting weirdly crazy. We still have one more episode, don't we? Or yeah, yeah. Like, we totally Kirby. hijacked yeah. this whole thing. Kirby, Kirby do you want to get to our final soda here? How much of this are you gonna edit? Oh, but then, but then, <laughs> uh, maybe, hopefully like some. But like, it's gonna take. It would take a minute because <laughs> we're at two hours of audio now. Um, and okay, so we'll we'll do this after the after this one too. Okay, so Kirby, tell us what our last bottle here. Uh, the last bottle is Mc. Fuddy, M A C, F U D D Y, the distinctively strong peppery elixir. This, this is a this is an Irish soda for an Irish man. It, I feel like it cures timidness and satisfies the daring. And That's it's, fucked up. It's luck infused and it's handcrafted. And there's there's some, should I get my scully? There's some symbols on here that I think are, uh, are rep- representative uh, of of uh, Ireland. Yes. Are they shipping off the? Are Boston? they runes? 
No, it's oh, like no, it's, it's like the little shit. Celtic. Oh, I'm excited to go see Dropkick Murphy. So I Rangers. think this is gonna That'll taste like uh, Dr Pepper. Tastes like a leprechaun. I don't know. Well, it's, <laughs> Let's okay, find no, out. The, the flavor name is like is it's pepper what pepper yeah. elixir pepper elixir. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to my parents for getting a, a wild ass pick yeah, right here. Uh, this is a second sweet barb. <laughs> I found it. It was Jesus Peace Bind in the oh. Dwell, Rapid Change, Heaven's Die, Fractured, Funeral Sheep, Tourniquet, Neglected, Refocus, Discomfort, Revenge Season, Riot Stairs, Joy Dwell. That's a sick ass line. Uh, There's a lot, of, a lot of bands on that. Swag. I don't know how to. Shout out Greer. Shout, shout, shout out Greer. Shout out fucking Greer. This, 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 this one's for you. This, this McFuddy. <laughs> Pass the bottle around. Yeah. You want me to do it? Oh, yeah. This is, this is uh, like, I love all my favorite scenes in The Wire are the, like, the detective's funerals where they, like, leave, the, the detective's wake where they, like, leave the dead, like, police officer Sorry, I sure I didn't have on, on the, the billiards table at the bar and like they cheer them and like they sing the Irish song together. I've I've never seen The Wire but yeah, I, the I wire rules. recommend it over and over. And yeah, no. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, we should watch it. It's the only Oh, it's whenever I go, timid. we're we're just gonna we're it, just gonna watch it, stuff on Zoom. It smells peculiar. We're, gonna, we're just gonna watch I don't know what's on making Zoom the smell. Can anyone else comment on the smell into a microphone? It it's, smells like, uh, it smells Dr. like Dr. cherry. Uh, yeah. It smells like Dr. Pepper. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. It tastes like cherry. It tastes like it tastes less spicy than it Dr. Pepper. pepper though. Though. Pepper. It's not spicy. Pepper. Pepper. You say, you get, pepper. You get pepper. cherry. No, that's oh, like cherry. You get that aftertaste. There's like a lot of. It's like it's got a spicy. Whoa. aftertaste. There's a lot going on. <laughs> this is. I don't know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I I feel less timid. I think. <laughs> it's like cherry. It's yeah. But I I'm eat like social. straight ginger. So. It tastes like homemade kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Shout That's, out to the goat pill. Uh, home home brewed Dr. Pepper pill. Did you ever did your yeah. grandparents like, ever make you made eat like life. raw garlic? Yeah, no, mom, whenever I was sick and even one time I slammed my finger in the car door when my grandpa, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, let me get another bit of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. my grandpa was dropping me off at school and so I went home and my grandma made me soak my finger in salt water and eat a bunch of raw cloves of garlic and then took me back to school. I love those. Yeah, eating eating raw garlic as a it's kid is a thing. It's really good for I've you. I've learned. It's it is. No, really garlic good is you. fucking good for you. That's it makes like you the stink. hard thing. Like you actually like even it's before you get bo, like you will stink like garlic. The best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, straight up. That made me cough just taking like a tiny sip and letting it like run down my throat. Like What's that pressure. Like. <laughs> but that yeah, where is where is this? Is there more of it? I, I think me and Jason might have just finished it. Sorry. I give you a lot. You yeah, get sure. You, you, I can pour you some. For my Irish it's leaving, it's just, it's just. Dude, my, did I drink what you just drink? Yeah. It's, it's just peppery. Let me try it again. It's just it leaving me wanting so much more. Oh, I did not. I'm, no, and Kirby, I'm sure this seems like it would be an ideal uh, mixer of some sort, or like chaser, yeah. mixer chaser or something. I don't know. I don't what, really... what can you finesse with this? I. I, uh, or, or any food you would pair with this? There, there's no. a lot of... Th this is maybe the most complex flavor profile we've tasted on the episode. Uh, around November, I stopped... I stopped... Uh, I stopped using a chaser. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. You don't mind. You don't, I was just wondering. Um... What what food would you pair with it? I don't know, like pretzels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I would love. You say that about anything we drink tonight. Uh, that's true. I think no, it's. For real, I, would love to, I would love to drink a bottle of this. Yeah. Eat, eat, eat a, a bunch of crunchy pretzels, pretzels and watch a Royals game. That with sounds perfect Dijon. to me. And that's why I'm a oh, Midwestern boy. Sandwich. This is more complex. Oh, those are like great. Yeah, like great poop poop sandwich. But it's not bad. There's great poop on. That's cashew. true. I agree. Yeah. But it's yeah. There's a there's a there's a process to what. Definitely a mix. Yeah, no, there's yeah. there's multiple yeah. like it's, layers. To it's it. it's going through many beakers and tubes and like there are many ingredients. I fucking love and I, layers. I, I really like really not science. science. Yeah, Emerson goes thoughts. Do this after you drink it. Take get the peppery. <laughs> uh, give me the mouth feel, someone. The mouth feel. <laughs> 
That feels a sparkly. little bit, like not <laughs> tingly. Like it, it, yeah, like, it, it, it leaves you a little tingly. Leaves the cheeks dry. M- more yeah, so, it's like, so <laughs> it's not like eating ginger, but it's like <laughs> you know, a little bit of dryness. Yeah, there's a dry, a little bit of dryness. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were. I just don't. Like, Jason. A what? A sommelier. What's that? Isn't that someone who likes from Somalia? Yes. Isn't that like a sauce? <laughs> no, it's like it's, it's, I think that's <laughs> someone <laughs> now. That is <laughs> fuck you guys. What? A, a, a Somalia is like a, someone who likes sauce chef studies that specializes in sauces. I thought it was that's like with, I thought it was with <laughs> yeah, it is. someone who yeah knows oh, like, who swishes it around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna Google it since you, since like, everybody like decided to give me shit. For saying sommelier. No, that's exactly <laughs> so. You're right. I was sommelier, just... a wine steward. Yeah. It's pronounced it's steward. <laughs> what? Yeah, th- and that's how it's pronounced. It's a wait. Yeah. It's no, you're literally... it's with wait, not a Everybody, language. everybody, listen. A young steward. Sommelier. 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 <laughs> sommelier. <laughs> um, that was right. that was um, hot. Sick. Okay. Okay. So our final, our final act on this podcast, our uh, our final sip. We have to rate. Actually, them. We have to rate them. Oh, we do usually. You rate, give your rate rating, bottles, and then I'll give rate our bottle sample tries. Oh, um, right. my favorite of the night. Oh, sorry. Do you guys want to go? No, you go. Okay. My I think my favorite of the night is either the McFarty Pepper <laughs> Elixir. That was very fun. It was a, that was more of a fun experience. Like I could drink that semi regularly, but I, that I wouldn't reach that for that every day. That'd be fucking weird. So that's that's definitely top two or top three. Also, the Americana, wait, no, the Ozark Mountain Butter Beer. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, yeah, very yeah, excellent. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. And then followed up by the two Americana ones, the Huckleberry and the Honey Cream. Those are both uh, subtle and very tasty. Um, uh, down near the bottom, what what else do we have? Uh, the Herb Sarsaparilla was pretty. It's kind of a wash. Uh, I've, I've had better sarsaparillas. The Chris Jones Chiefs sarsaparilla is much tastier. And then at the bottom, I would put our first soda of the day, which was the Picture Show Red Hot oh, yeah, from nice. Boots. <clears throat> Fuck you guys. Um, this is our last soda podcast, so I can say that. Um, okay, and but yeah, else anybody else's rankings? I think that. I think the only good one, I think that the only good one was the butter one, which surprised me, and then the red hot one was ass, and the um, huckleberry one tasted like, like cheap medicine, like off-brand medicine, and then the honeymoon also t- kind of tasted like medicine. Uh, Emerson is not a soda fan. And then the sarsaparilla one, I was like... When I first tasted it, I was like, oh yeah, it's normal root beer, and then it tasted like when, um, the, when the syrup starts running out, but it's like, when you leave it out. <laughs> when the machine is broke. Yeah, when you leave it out, and it's like no longer really carbonated, so it was a flop. There we go. That's but the, uh, the butter beer one was actually good, and that surprised me. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, definitely like a, a decadent soda <laughs> like it's like something that you should drink when it's cold mm, yeah. yeah like oh to get that to get that like on tap i'm sure you know like yeah we'll that. Probably be or just have it in the fridge maybe yeah sure, sure. hey hey I, we got we got ice here i it's think like i think cream. my ratings are just like aaron's yeah i think we we're like yeah in agreement well you guys are like the connoisseurs so well, I mean, I know I'm a hey, anybody can drink I'm soda, you know, tomorrow, like, I'm tomorrow not tomorrow. more of a, I'm not a more, like, my music opinion doesn't matter more just because I engage in music criticism more, like, I care, I care what, like, non-critics or writers or Yeah, like, I have a pretty, I have a pretty interesting soda perspective, and I don't even like soda. <laughs> I'm usually just correct. <laughs> and, and this Across podcast was Kirby's idea. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, you, you pitched this to me. Yeah, this shit rules. And I, but I was I, I I immediately ran with it. Like maybe, we probably wouldn't have started if I it was didn't, a good like, idea. It's start working been a on good it. Good idea. Yeah, no, it, it brought us closer together. I would say over the course of our roommate ship. Yeah. Uh, so. What is it going to be like to not live together? Um, I don't know. Um, Cam and Jenna are really cool. It'll probably and, smell like weed less. Yeah, no, it was, I, it, I will not that. smell resin yeah, from my so. bedroom. Anyway. Yo, can I can I be honest? When I went in your room to get my backpack, 
um, your room smells like way better than I would expect it to. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not dirty. Well, it's, yeah, it's a like lot good of stuff. It's, it smells good. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Emerson did assume you would be a dirty I boy. This. No, I didn't. Uh, I never thought you were dirty. But also, I think a lot of the times that I've, I have been. I mean, I room. look like I'm dirty. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, but most of the times I've been in your room previously, it was when there was like um, a bottle garden. Yeah. Yeah, the graveyard. The yeah, garden is more. It's, it's, it's ornate. It's a flattering it's description. Um, so it kind of smelled like that, but this time it smelled really nice. And it didn't smell like really, it didn't really smell like vodka. Act. How about how about no. it? It just smelled like the. Kirby, how, 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 how would you really feel? What, how do you I feel know. like you've changed as a person since we started this podcast? Oh Where, shit, dude! We started this you? podcast like we started this podcast like two or three weeks after I got out of rehab, and uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, that was like. Uh, has this been helpful in your journey? Yeah. 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 That's good. It's a talk shit. I mean, like, that was, like, we started this podcast at, like, essentially, like, rock bottom of my adult life. Um, and, uh, hey. I don't know, I just did a bunch of shit, and then, uh... And now you're up. Yeah, now I'm up. And now I, I graduated college, and then I didn't die... And, uh, I'll, I'll oh, and then now I'm fucking, I'm fucking leaving Kansas City. Just never you, you're going to be a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. No, no but, uh, uh, well, he, I he mean, like, both, cause they won't if somebody presses me, it's like, I'm not putting my feet down in Pittsburgh, really. <laughs> uh, so, like, I'll fucking lie about that shit, like. Hey, at least, at least they're, not, they're not asking you to be a Yankees fan. Or yeah, he'll, he'll, just go, he'll just go be a Penn fan. fan. Yo, except the Yankees are my number two team behind the Royals. Because I went to my first Yankees game last time I was in New York, and it was, like, ridiculously fun. Like, I've been to several Mets games, and they were all, like, really dorky. Like, of course, the Mets lose yeah. every time. Fucking Mr. Met's a fucking dork, except I do appreciate Mr. Met. And, but, and the apple is cool. The home run apple is cool. But... Hey, hey, Jason, cool Fuck it. the Yankees forever. Fuck. No. No, it's cool. They Yo, don't, they fuck don't, the Mets, the, bro. The, Check the scoreboard. The Yankees, the jerseys are always fly as hell. They always just steal every other team's good players, which is a Chad move. Um, they true. throw back home run balls every single time from the opposing team. There's they there's no mascot. It's fucking cool. They're the coolest team. Every time someone <laughs> hates a sports team a lot, it's because they're the best. Yeah, yeah, you're just jealous, And Jason. they win a lot. As, like the I mean, I understand, team. because they do play the Royals, like, frequently, kind of. So yeah. it's it's easy to hate them if you are a big Royals fan. My grandpa used to sell dogs. But Yankees. Bro, but dogs? They were dogs. <laughs> Most they were, baseball they, fans they were, they were sell dogs. In New York hate the Yankees, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, they're like well, the, they're like well, the cops. Them, they're like the them hate. Of no, yeah, no, they do get a bad rap as like but racist he was kinda, like kind of like Red Sox fans, but oh, like it's not like, like the Mets are any cooler. There's as many annoying, <laughs> stupid <laughs> Mets fans out there. They're just quieter. Because uh, they're from the Bronx, baby. As a huge Major League I'm Baseball not, fan, I, I hate I, two I, teams. I hate the New York Yankees and the St. Louis Cardinals. No, okay, we don't hate Cardinals. Fuck Cardinals. I, I would like to go to a game in Bush Stadium, though. I've never been out there. Royals like are to... playing in, in St. Louis in August. I bet that's a hard ticket, though. I... Dude, I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to go to the Yankees-Royals game and cheer for the Yankees. <laughs> Sick. No. I'm like that's like my plan. I would support you in that. Talk, like if you, if you, you know, we were looking at. There's tickets. a lot of Yankees fans it, in Kansas City because really? when, the, when the Yankees are in town and you are go to a game, still want to do that, Emerson? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking uh, Yankees fans. It's disgusting. Which, I'll try. Yeah. I won't. I won't be offended if I'm not invited, but I would come along if you'd like me to. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be like August. I, I went to I went 11th or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm gonna buy my ticket with it. Because I uh I went to see the Royals play the Red Sox and they they lost to the Red Sox and it was and. Yeah, my my uncle's uh, new girlfriend came, and she's a Red Sox fan. Gross. And Sick. So, What's her uh, name? Uh, no further comment. But my okay, my she's not the mother to my, my uh, cousins who are very cool. I love them. Are the people who like were into baseball? I'm, I'm, like, yeah, if John is listening, I'm just kidding. I I don't know her yet. She's she she could very well be very she's cool. Chill. She's chill. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to leave John Emerson, maybe single at some no. point, but Emerson's staying safe right no, now. No, I'm so. getting married. You getting married? Yeah. You're getting wiped up? Yeah, me too. I'm getting married. You got a ring? No. No. Yeah, I have to get a ring yeah. too. 
Uh, I will not be single for your your boyfriend's girlfriend. He likes the Red Sox. My that sounds like a terrible uncle's deal. girlfriend. Your uncle, your boyfriend's girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> your bro, I meant brother. You're on my podcast. I don't think you have a boyfriend. If you had a boyfriend, I would be okay with that. Even though that's I don't. I wouldn't care if you're okay with that. <laughs> Two and a half hours in, and this is where we are. <laughs> We've circled yeah. back to homophobia. I, I, I know. Uh, yes, wow. that's that's where we started. That's where we're gonna end things. Wrap um, it up. Okay, our final sit, our final uh, beverage came courtesy of our guest Jason. Uh, his girlfriend Lauren uh, was kind enough to procure this uh, special syrup from a gas station in. No, it's actually from uh, a restaurant. So a restaurant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Lauren lived in North Dakota for several years, and they have a place that they're called Big Boy. Which there's big boys all over. I don't know that they're all franchised. There's a big boy here, and it's not the same thing. Boy. <laughs> anyway, right here. Uh, they do this thing called a hot top, and it's uh, it's this cinnamon syrup. Can you spell inside that? Coke. H O T, and then I think it's apostrophe N T O T. Hot and top. Hot and tight. If hot Lauren were here, she'd say it in the North Dakota accent, and you guys would laugh. What's, what's that accent? That sounds that's a little. Nice. Oh, hey now, don't you know? Oh, it's like a Minnesota, Minnesota one. Yo, you okay. yeah. that dick. My, my yeah. grandma had a Minnesota accent for a, a long time, I think. So anyway, she get, she talked to me about this for like the first two year, two and a half years we were dating. Shake, yeah. Two years we were dating. Talking this shit up. Shake, shake. She's like, I can't wait for you to try this. So we were okay. out there last so summer, free. and you get them in a. It, it's it's a it's like a fast food place. Yeah, you brought us like a. This is like maybe a. Five ounce bottle. Yeah, it's just like a bottle. it's like a garlic powder bottle. Okay, Dude, but, but how much how much comes in? Oh, like how much do they sell it in a serving? Yeah. Well, yeah. well no. that's the thing. She had to ask for extra, so they gave her like a they gave her a fast food cup with full of that stuff. Shit. No way. They don't sell it. Wait, okay, like so they, they sell it by the drink. Well, like by, when you, when you the, order it, it's like drink. you know they put a splash of that or whatever, yeah. and okay. the rest is Coke and crushed ice. Okay, sick. And it's it's fucking awesome. Okay, so, so we're gonna we're gonna pour. We got this, some. This would be this would be better if we were doing it cold with it's crushed ice. Up. But well, we I make do with what we got. Oh, we I, there's ice in the there's <laughs> ice in the kitchen. If everybody wants to go grab <laughs> right, some ice. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Crushed ice hits differently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We should have got some song. That's exactly. Oh, yeah. what I'm, I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's okay. If anybody uh, brought it up, we should have got some Missouri ice. But that's you can have what you don't use. That's for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so how much purport like what's what should the proportionage be? Two to three. Even know. Just like <laughs> for one, two, every three. I'm gonna sneeze, guys. So it'll it'll be yes, almost, okay, bro, yes. no, almost okay, no, almost like a when you get syrup at the quick trip fountain, should it be like that much, like a spritz? Like, two squirts? <laughs> like a, a yeah, one that, a yeah, one spritz. Yeah, don't go overboard, but like you might have to adjust. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully okay, I'll just do my best not to overdo it. It way. feels good. Me too. So I actually quit soda uh, okay. more than a week ago. That wasn't that much. That was hell. Did you see how much Coke I have though? I think I poured a good I don't know. Coke. That's. It's. I bet. It, it's it probably is strong. Yeah, yeah. I probably. I probably did put too but much. But you're also you're also syrup tolerant. Damn. Soda guy. Uh, move that down the way. Should we put the syrup shout in the Shout out to Saweetie. For a second. Or, no, and Megan the Ah. Yeah, that's, she likes doing that. Okay. I like her. I don't like her music, but <laughs> well, her music. Good. She's like a good yeah. rapper. She's really good. I wouldn't listen to it, but I think she's like great. I like really. I just like love. Okay, I definitely put a little yeah, too much in this. I'm gonna so mad dog take a look for around to add for a minute. Do you remember like a few years ago, just the time they did cinnamon coke? Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they that didn't so taste good. very good, but this is like a better version. <laughs> I like to do. do. I, I didn't uh, eat it. You like the cinnamon coke? Cinnamon coke? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was good. too like I artificial tasting to me, I think. There's oh yeah, weird about it. I, I feel that. I feel like this is definitely good. Did anybody ever do the cinnamon yeah. challenge? Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear yeah. something fucked up. Yeah, 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 everybody, yeah, okay, what's, what's, what's the best cinnamon challenge story here? I had my little brother do it you don't? when he was, like, really young. <laughs> Me and James told, yeah. got Ryan to do it, and he, like, when, he was, like, young. He was, like, seven. And he, like, went and told on us, and we got, whoa. <laughs> Like, uh, truly, whoa. Yo, okay, yeah, okay. 2000. Be, like, perfect. Yeah, when it's cold, it's, like, you, in the... Yeah. The ratio has to be perfect, because, like, when you get it at the restaurant, like, it's fucking, they do it perfectly, and it's, like, unreal good. 2021, we're bringing back the Cinema oh, Challenge. All the teams on TikTok, they're going to be doing the Cinema Challenge. I'm calling it. 
No, people just do like whippets and like. Fuck up people some do commas. challenges where they like hit a blunt. Oh, and, dude, uh, hit we, a bottle of, yeah. and then hit a whippet. Kirby, have, have we talked on this podcast before about Gunna doing whippets on Instagram? <gasps> yeah, we did. We love that shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. It's good. We're, yeah, we're in a panoramic right now. I love cinnamon though. Uh, whippets turn me into the devil. I fucking hate whippets. <laughs> mm. I've seen whippets. Turn I'm a fan of the fucking. I'm, I'm a fan devil. of the hot and top. This I is very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thank you, Jason and Lauren, for bringing us this. Yeah. I actually made it, it I hits made, the spot. I made blueberry lemonade yesterday by like boiling down blueberries and making like. Uh, the things compote, are just... kind of. Nice. And I put cinnamon in it, and then I made lemonade with it, and it's actually really good. Dude, I love it's get. I love good. getting. I go. Going to fucking, uh, what's the goddamn, uh, breakfast place in, in Westport where... Snooze? No, oh, no, not, like, Old Westport, like, where Record Bar was. Um, uh, First Watch. First Watch. I love going to First Watch and getting the fucking Belgian waffles with the blueberry compote. Yeah. That is my Dude, shit. you see my crepes? I did not Every see Every time I've ever gone to First Watch, it was fucking on the heartbreaking. Crepes you know, crepe, crepe, crepe <laughs> crazy? Yes, I, like... Because Sage was at work, and I knew they were going to be hungry when they got home. So I made, I made um, one set of crepes we'll, that we'll were... We'll like one minute. They were lemon and blueberry, and I made like a homemade blueberry compote, and I put lemon zest on top, and I made this like Greek yogurt agave topping thing oh yeah let's and then, go and then I made another one that was I made savory ones that were sun dried tomato and basil oh and the other the blueberry lemon ones also had basil in them and then I made sun dried tomato and basil crepes that had marinated artichoke and cherry tomatoes <laughs> and scallions on top Sheesh. and they were so Emerson, fucking you good. never that you never incredible. quit that looks tasty as hell Whoa. they were so good Shout out to you. that was my second podcast. time making crepes too damn yeah that's okay. impressive so i i think awesome. that's gonna wrap up the um <laughs> sipping on some <laughs> soda <laughs> podcast finale i think i want to thank all of our listeners all 10,000 of you um, over the years and she's sticking through sticking with with us through it all and uh, sip I hope I hope you enjoyed sipping as much as I had fun sipping myself um, no homo um, Kir- Kirby get to talk to him well um, yeah this is the uh, this is the last episode um, I am leaving. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, Kansas City. Um, uh, yeah, Kirby, fuck, Kirby, please fuck, don't cry. Fuck the ops. Um, uh, want Kansas City to remember you, but yeah, how how how, how should how should Kansas City and its soda drinkers remember you? Aside from those sick devil horns. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Your Peter Steele sex appeal and your <laughs> iron will. Yo! Yeah. Peter Steele sex appeal. My That's fucking a joke. Power iron arms will. Oh. Yeah. And my so iron. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> and my iron. And, uh... Got the iron mind that can't be beat. Yeah, Big no one iron. ever... Yeah. Big iron on this hood. I was, Kirby's got I was here for... I was here for... Seven years, or maybe Casey longer. Robert. Yeah. No one ever tried to press me. That's true. No one ever. No one ever did I've shit. Not heard no one ever did to shit me. to me. No one. No one ever laid a fucking finger on me. No one ever even fucking tried. And so, if with, that doesn't speak to your character, I don't know what. With does. that, goodbye. So so long. Y'all are fucking well. scared. Say say la vie and our au revoir, shalom. Uh, th- thanks to all the soda heads, we love you. Shalom, shalom. Yes. Yeah, sh- goodbye, farewell. Goodbye. <laughs>